Boston's most listened to sports station. Boston's home for sports. Sports Hub. Obviously, media group station. This is the Shaw's and Star Market Celtics Tonight pregame show. Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh. Jalen Brown, three in the air for the game. Go! Got it! He got it! Tatum, right corner against Embiid. Tatum for a 50 Go! piece. A game seven, 50 for Jason Tatum. The Celtics are brought to you by BetMGM, the king of sports books and presenting sponsor of the Celtics Radio Network. Please bet responsibly. Clinton Savings Bank, Catches Law, Valvoline Instant Oil Change, Ticketmaster, Bosch Tool, and by Hub International New England. They come from 16 down and get a buzzer beating fall away from Al Horford. Tatum spins, lays it up and in to beat the buzzer. The Celtics have won the ball game at the buzzer. And by Town Fair Tire, Cambridge Savings Bank, Wendy's, Jack Savvy Brewing, The Commuter Rail, UMass Lowell, your New England Honda dealers, East Coast Metal Roofing, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. A road win in Game 7 that sends the Boston Celtics home, home to the NBA Finals. The Celtics are Eastern Conference champions. Now, here's Sean Granty and Cedric Maxwell. At Little Caesars Arena in a snowy downtown Detroit, Michigan, where tonight the Celtics begin their longest road trip of the year. Six games in 11 days. It starts tonight against Cade Cunningham and the Detroit Pistons. Thanks for finding us on, admittedly, a very busy Friday night. I'm Sean Grady, Cedric Maxwell. Joins us shortly coming up on the fastest 30 minutes in the NBA. Shaw's and Star Market Celtics tonight will tell you who's in and who's out for the Celtics as they play the front end of the back-to-back. Going to be a lot of this now as the Celtics play out the string here in the regular season. We'll break down this final meeting with the Pistons. Celtics trying to sweep the season series for the second straight year including another blowout win Monday night in Boston. More ridiculous injury news could lead Detroit to the NBA's worst record by season's end. How could this possibly have happened? We'll discuss. We'll take our trip around the NBA. Dallas dunking, Kuzma cruising, and don't look now, but a very possible playoff opponent for the Celtics is getting hot at the perfect time. Steal, Franz took it away from McCollum. He'll run it out. He throws it up high, and Paolo brings it down. Oh! Wow! It's a 20-point game, and this place is hopping! We'll check in with the head coach, Joe Mazzulla. Today, you're like, what are the things, regardless of who you're playing against, the themes and the concepts that are going on within a game that either gave you trouble, that might give you trouble? But coming up next, the Bucks came into Boston the night before Thanksgiving and cut a huge fourth-quarter deficit down to three at the final buzzer. If you missed it, Wednesday night at the Garden, we saw the exact same game again. We'll look back. Tatum, deep on the right side against Beasley. Tatum spins to his left inside the free throw line, drives, scoops, and scores. Take a layup. If, if, if nothing else, take a layup. It's all coming up and more as we count you down to the start of the road trip. Celtics and the Pistons here in Detroit, top of the hour on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Look around. You can find cars like these on Auto Trader. New cars, used cars, electric cars, maybe even flying cars. <laughs> Okay, no flying cars, but as soon as they get invented, they'll be on Auto Trader. Just you wait. Auto Trader. As humans, we're naturally driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. When I was looking to hire someone, it was so slow and overwhelming. I wish I had used Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. That's Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we care about your home because we care about the life you live in it. Why do we do what we do? It's simple. The people. We've raised the standard for what you can expect during a roofing, siding, and window project because you deserve more. More communication, more options, more time spent on the important things in life instead of worrying about home maintenance. So when it comes to your next roofing, siding, or window project, expect more. Get more with Marshall. Call today or visit marshallbr.com to schedule your free estimate. Does your money work hard for you? 
earn more with an e-checking account from Westerly Community Credit Union. Get a crazy high interest rate, plus there's no monthly fee, no minimum balances, and you get up to $20 each month in free ATMs. Visit us online at westerlyccu.com slash e-checking or visit one of our branches to open an account today. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. This is like powerful what that does for our team, how much better it makes us seeing them take the challenge of guarding the best guard on the other team, picking them up full court, chasing him around all night. You know, it has a has an impact on the rest of the on the rest of the team and really gives, you know, everybody else no excuses. Right. If he can do that all night while still trying to be effective on the offensive end, you know, that is, is nothing short of special. Jason Tatum on Jalen Brown picking up Damian Lillard for the majority of the game, particularly in crunch time on Wednesday night as Celtics beat the Milwaukee Bucks. Welcome back to Shaw's and Star Market. Celtics tonight here in Detroit. Snowy Detroit, Michigan. Did you have a good run today, Max? Yeah. I ran right to the bathroom. <laughs> Bet you did. The Celtics, 41 games over 500 at 55 and 14 as they enter the game here. They have won 26 of 27 this year against sub-500 teams. Let's get you caught up on the news of the night, who is in and who is out. Jason Tatum will not play in this game tonight. Al Horford will not play in this game tonight. Sam Hauser is actually going to return. Drew Holiday will not. So Xavier Tillman is going to make his first start as a member of the Celtics. He's going to play with Porzingis, Jalen Brown, Derek White, and Peyton Pritchard. That will be the starting five for the Celtics against a Detroit team. Max, that it has been so bad this year. They have been so star-crossed. They have lost three more players for the rest of the season since we saw them four days ago. That's just crazy to think that you lose so many. But that's what happens when you're a team that is playing poorly. It just seems like nothing's going to come your way. And this is a team that you and I talked about before. We felt that this year they were going to be much better because Cave Cunningham, we thought he was really good. And we thought Ivy and then everybody else, Durham, was going to play. But not being healthy and not playing well has combined to them being one of the worst teams in the league. All right, we'll get into the Pistons. And obviously we want to get into the discussion about the reaction to the Milwaukee game. Because obviously the Celtics are in a place now where nothing is good enough. Unless they win every game by 30, there's always people coming out of the woodwork. The Celtics dared to only win a game by three points and beat one of the best teams in the NBA. Obviously, there weren't guys playing. There's a lot of external circumstances, but let's get to it. The previous game recap brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code SPORTSHUB. New customers can bet 5 bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only with DraftKings Sportsbook and code SPORTSHUB. The crown is yours. What was many, many remarkable things about Wednesday is the fact that we had already seen that exact same game the night before Thanksgiving, the Bucks came into Boston, trailed by 17 in the fourth quarter, lost by three. Celtics were up by 21 early in the fourth quarter, and again, they won by three, but it was an interesting journey to get there. Celtics in the black jerseys tonight. Green letters and numbers, they'll go left to right. Milwaukee in the home white. Hunter green letters and numbers, they will go right to left. Brooke Lopez loses the opening tap to Chris Tapp's Porzingis. And the latest NBA game of the night is underway. Celtics on offense first. Tatum bounce pass for Porzingis. Return to Tatum straight away. Thinking about the three, takes it over Lopez. Got it. Got Rubinson in the that. Celtics exploiting the mismatches, attacking the smaller guard, and knocking down threes. Under out of bounds, and safe for the Horford kick out. Pritchard, pretty good look. Right side three, switch. That dude is so confident right now. I mean, he is in the position. Catch, shoot, release. We it back out to Porzingis, who drops steps, drops oh! Lopez, and throws the hammer down. Oh, my goodness. Big boy. I've got you. Here, Jalen Brown, right hand dribble behind the back bounce pass. Horford open straight away three. Switch. Not out coming. Yeah, Doc Rubin sees that. Said, Nah, uh -uh. give me a timeout. Milwaukee got it within five, but 11 to two is the Boston run. Lead is back to 14, and the Celtics well on their way to another game in which they make 23s. Tatum, no look for Derek White. Left side three, got it. Celtics have only made three shots in the fourth quarter, but they've all been threes, up to 18 on the night. Tatum, bumping with Beasley, turns on him, mid-block, ball away, short, rebound, oh, Porzingis, God. snatches it away from Portis, and throws it down with two hands. Woo a big fella attack. 
Tatum bounces the second free throw in, a 31-point night for him. Margin is six, 6.5 to go. Damian Lillard will hit half court. Step to his left, launch a three, and hit it. This is going to give us our final margin as the Celtics inbound. The clock hits triple zeros, and the Boston Celtics have won their seventh straight, their tenth straight at home. They have clinched the Atlantic Division and at least the number two seed in the East. And oh, by the way, they're 41 games over 500. The Bucks came from a huge deficit to get within three before losing in November. They did the exact same thing tonight. The final score, Boston 122, Milwaukee 119. Fourteenth time the Celtics have had a 20-point lead in the last 16 games. Ponder that. If they, for some reason, are able to take a 20-point lead tonight and tomorrow in Chicago, they will have had one in half of the 70 games they have played this year as they continue to put forth one of the best regular seasons, quite simply, in NBA history. There's no longer any way you could argue against that. They will bring a 10-and-a-half game lead into the game tonight because Milwaukee won their game last night barely against Brooklyn. Giannis came back on the second night of the back-to-back. -back. Bobby Portis became just the third player in the last four years to grab 15 rebounds off the bench against the Celtics. The other two, you might want to remember these names, Isaiah Hartenstein and Josh Hart because they both play for the New York Knicks, a possible playoff opponent for the Celtics. Now, here are the troubling things that people want to jump on. Only twice in 69 games has anyone shot 53% or better against the Celtics, and it's now been Milwaukee twice. That, and then the issue of the zone. In the fourth quarter, the Celtics offense slowed down and enabled Milwaukee to come back. Big picture, long view, Max. Without Giannis, without Drew Holiday, without Sam Hauser, and with the specter of coaches not wanting to show everything against a team that they very, very well play in the playoffs. How much stock, good, bad, indifferent, do we put into the Wednesday game? Well, there's some things you look at, and you said that the zone did slow you down. But at the same time, Portis got extremely hot and was knocking down shots. He doesn't get as many shots in a game because Giannis is there. So you negate that factor. Um, I'll, I'll, all I'll say is the defensive rebound again. If there's a chink in the armor right now, it will be rebounding the ball on their defensive end and not allowing second chance opportunities to the opposition. Well, you counted that on the other end. If you have, say, for example, the leading offensive rebounder in the NBA for players 6'2 and under. Yes, I did this at 3 in the morning because I was curious if he was, in fact, leading among players his size, and he is. Peyton Pritchard is listed at 6'1, but if you take all the players in the league 6'2 and under, Peyton Pritchard has the 61 offensive rebounds. That's the most in the league. We're going to talk to Joe Mazzulla just before we get to that, Max, about the risk-reward, like a safety blitz in the NFL, of sending your smallest guy on the court in for an offensive rebound, but... I, I, I know you think it's kind of like Joe Mazzulla changing three-point shots uh, off the bench. So there's a inherent danger involved, particularly when you're here in the hallowed halls of Detroit and the way the Pistons used to play. Um, it, it is, um, but the game has changed. So there's not a guy who's going to crack you or say anything to you about getting on the offensive glass. So I think that, yeah, you do have there. There's some dangers going in there, but he's been fearless. You know what makes you not fearless? When you get bit by a dog. Then all of a sudden, you hear something barking, you be like, oh, 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 wait a minute. But nobody's going to crack anybody anymore. All right, the Pistons with a loss tonight will match Washington for the worst record in the NBA, which is just inconceivable when you looked at them at the beginning of the year and Cade Cunningham on the rise and Jaden Ivey on the rise, even when they were managing to lose all those games when they almost beat the Celtics. You just got the feeling they were about to turn the corner. We, I guarantee you they were going to win that next game against Toronto at home, and they did. But they, they, they did, as uh, Paul Pierce likes to say, they did a 360. Right? <laughs> they just kept going around in circles back to where they came from, and now... As you talked about the injury bug here, Simone Fontecchio, Taj Gibson, who just joined the team, he is out. Isaiah Stewart, who you saw the other night, he is now out for the year. Quentin Grimes is out. Sir Thompson is now out for the year. So is Stanley Amude. And I don't know what kind of reps you're getting, Cade Cunningham and Jalen Duran and Jaden Ivey here in games that are a lot that seem like a lot of meaningless minutes. Well, I, I don't think there's ever meaningless minutes in the NBA because you get the opportunity to learn something if you are astute about your craft because you can find out how a guy might move, how he might react to you, what will work in a live game. So you better use those minutes as valuable minutes to put into your, uh, I guess, into your safe. Troy Brown is going to start you. Wilma, who 
has only played 10 games in the NBA. He's going to play his third against the Celtics in the most minutes by far uh, against Boston. And Jalen Duran, obviously, still one of the younger players in the league. Max's player to bank on brought to you by Clinton Savings back this spring. You can bank on CSB. For your home project with new home equity line of credit, a 5.99 APR for the first six months. Get details at clintonsavings.com. Member FDIC, DIF, equal housing lender. Well, I think I'm going to go with Brown tonight. And because Brown is really showing me another side about his ability to lead a team and find out what he wants to do on the defensive end. Tatum made, it, made mention of that. He said, look, he, he was over there guarding, you know, one, one of the best in the game, full court. And everybody kind of had to follow suit. So I, I like what Brown is doing. Still to come on Shaw's and Star Market Celtics tonight, our conversation with Joe Mazzula. His take on the zone defense from the other night on the gamble of Peyton Pritchard chasing offensive rebounds. And we're going to talk about pizza and the chain for which this building is named. All of that is still to come. We're going to take our trip around the NBA. And I watched that entire Nuggets-Knicks game last night while the rest of you were watching March Madness. And I'll tell you, that dude... I, I, nothing against Shea Gilgis, Alexander, or anybody else, but Jokic is so clear-cut MVP. It, it, it shouldn't even be close at this point. Well, that conversation running through the scores from around the league, but when we return, Sean Silver has sports, hub, headlines, Bruins and Rangers. Had a fun game last night, not so much at the end for the Bruins. It's all leading to the Celtics and the Detroit Pistons, our very own edition of March Madness coming your way, top of the hour on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Looking to consolidate your debt, lower your interest rate, or need to borrow money? We can help. Borrow up to $50,000 with a personal loan from Westerly Community Credit Union. With our low rates, you can enjoy one monthly payment you can afford. Apply today at westerlyccu.com slash loan. Visit one of our branches located in Wakefield, Westerly, Richmond, or Coventry. Or call 401-596-7000 today. BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. <laughs> Lainey Wilson is on a roll. She's delivering great music and teaming up with some of country's hottest acts. Text Lainey to 45911 to see which four Lainey Wilson collabs have us talking at BackstageCountry.com. Text Lainey to 45911 to get a link to the list sent right to your phone from BackstageCountry.com. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Are you a short-term rental host or investor looking to level up your game? Meet AirDNA, your trusted advisor in the vacation rental industry. With AirDNA, you'll gain a competitive edge. We provide insights that help you make smarter decisions. Adjust prices at the right time, add those winning amenities, and discover your next real estate investment hotspot. We're more than just data. We're your entrepreneurial launchpad. Visit us at AirDNA.co to get started today. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. Sports Hub Headlines. NCAA men's bracket, Yale and Auburn into the final minute. It's Auburn with a 72-70 lead. Colorado trying to close out Florida. 97-90, about a minute and a half left in the second half. Earlier today, UConn, Marquette, Baylor, Clemson, and Northwestern with double-digit wins. San Diego State squeaked by UAB. 69-65. In the women's bracket, LSU got by Rice by 10. South Carolina, a 52-point win despite missing Camilla Cardozo due to a suspension. College Pucks, the Hockey East tournament over at TD Garden. BC hammered UMass 8-1 in the first game. The nightcap will be BU and Maine. Red Sox 5-1 losers against the Blue Jays in Dunedin today. They did set their starting rotation. It'll be Brian Bayo, Nick Pavetta, Cutter Crawford, Garrett Whitlock, and Tanner Houck. Revs at home tomorrow, host Chicago at 2 p.m. Bruins coming off, off a loss to the Rangers. They'll start a road trip in Philadelphia tomorrow at 1 o'clock. At Savings Madness at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, visit NewEnglandOilChange.com for 15% off your drive through oil change at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. I'm Sean Silver, Celtics in Detroit with a short bench. Grandy and Max go around the NBA coming up 
on the BetMGM 98 by the Sports Hub, Celtics Radio Network. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Back in Philadelphia, I got hooked on crack cocaine. I was sick. I was incapable of running my life. I came back to Water Street and Water Street captured me. And I just thank God that he delivered me David Pasternak plays here. High slot now, McAvoy, far side, Pasternak shoots, looking for the tip. It comes back to him, fires, he scores! He's got another! Marshan, high slot, looks back door, swings it across, popping out, Pasternak shoots, he scores! Marshan's got it right, circle, Bergeron to Pasternak shoots, he scores! This is the home of the bees, 98.5 The Sports Hub. The Honda you want is here, so drive in the moment with the versatile Honda CRV or Accord, all from the 2023 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on the 2024 Honda Accord and a 2.9% APR on the 2024 CRV. See dealer for financing details based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. If you need tires, think Town Fair Tire. Thinking name brands? We have them all. Thinking price? We beat the competitors. Free services? We have those too. For the guaranteed lowest price, nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Town Fair Tire. The only place to hear the game. The Sports Hub. Bound goes to Nikola Jokic. He's one-on-one -on -one with Bridges. Throws out of it to Gordon. Tap pass. Quarter three. Yeah! Jason Kosnicki living his best life as Denver wins again. 113-100. They are percentage points behind OKC for the Western Conference lead. Michael Porter Jr., my favorite stat line of the year last night. 31.0 assists. <laughs> that means blinders on. I'm here to shoot, not pass. So, you know, Denver may win the championship again, but they got to figure out this bench. Jokic last night was a plus 30 when he was on the court. When he was out of the game, Denver was a minus 17 in nine minutes. Nine minutes, that's against a New York team that did not have Ananobi, that did not have Mitchell Robinson, that didn't have Julius Randle. Let me magnify your point there. That's hard to do. I, I really like the way you do that sometimes. Very Meanwhile, nice. some uh, interesting NBA history made last night in Dallas. The cutting Irving through the lane right to left and got stripped by Sensor Ball. Kyrie got it back and gets rid of it in time for the baseline. Rims out, rebound, Gafford at the front of the rim and nearly brings the station down. I'll give you something that's hard to do. Give up an NBA record 18 dunks. That's what Utah did last night to Dallas. Daniel Gafford had 10 of them all by himself in the Dallas win over Utah. I bring that up because Daniel Gafford fell one shy of the NBA record. Shaquille O'Neal did it three times. And do you remember one of the games, Max? I bet you do. Yeah, against the Celtics. And what did he tell the Boston bench every time he caught the ball Cannot in the Cannot front me. And yet, what did the Celtics do? Kept fronting. And so Shaq had 11 dunks. That was March 20th, 2003, 21 years ago, the day after the U.S. launched combat invasions in Iraq, and we called it the Shaq and Awe game in L.A. He had 48 points and 20 rebounds in that day in 2003, and Daniel Gafford came one away from that record of 11 dunks in the game for Dallas last night. Meanwhile, the hottest team in the NBA no one was talking about was New Orleans, but they ran into a team last night even hotter. Steal Franz, took it away from McCollum. Go run it out. He throws it up high and Paolo brings it down. Oh, wow. It's a 20-point game, and this place is hopping. The Orlando Magic are 13-3 in the last 16 games, and they have the NBA's best defense in that stretch. They were closing in on falling back to 500, and now Orlando has passed New York, and they are in the fourth spot in the Eastern Conference. And needless to say, if you're in the fourth spot, you are the odds-on favorite to face Boston in the second round of the playoffs. Well, you, you think you want to do that, or you think you just kind of rather wait? I think that the way Orlando's been playing right now, all they want to do is get there. 
Now for New Orleans in that game, Brandon Ingram looked like he suffered a gruesome injury as he hyperextended his leg. It is a bone contusion, not as bad as it could have been. He will be back. He'll be out for two weeks, but that means Ingram will miss the game against the Celtics next Saturday night in New Orleans. Homeboy from Kissing, North Carolina. He'll always be back. All right, other games we'll keep an eye on for you tonight. Oklahoma City now holding on to the lead by percentage points in the Western Conference. They are at Toronto Celtics. Next home game, by the way, will be a week from Wednesday against the OKC Thunder. New Orleans continues their road trip back-to-back. -back. They are at Miami. Cleveland is at Minnesota, so some big-time games on the NBA scoreboard tonight. Here we have the Celtics and the Detroit Pistons. Again, Celtics going shorthanded without Al Horford, without Drew Holiday, without Jason Tatum tonight. Pistons suffering all kinds of injuries, so get your programs and your scorecards for this one. Celtics and the Pistons will tee it up as soon as we talk to Joe Mazzulla, that's next on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we're changing the way homeowners think about roofing, siding, and window projects. It doesn't have to be stressful or take weeks of your time. Our process is efficient and stress-free every step of the way. It starts with a free consultation where we discover the best options for your home and budget together. We want to talk with you, not at you. And most of all, we want to listen. At Marshall, we know every roofing, siding, and window project is unique, so we work hard to never lose sight of your vision. It's your project, your terms. Why settle for less? Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Does your money work hard for you? Earn more with an e-checking account from Westerly Community Credit Union. Get a crazy high interest rate, plus there's no monthly fee, no minimum balances, and you get up to $20 each month in free ATMs. Visit us online at westerlyccu.com slash eChecking, or visit one of our branches to open an account today. Felger and Naz, afternoons 2 to 6 on the Sports Hub. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Sub Celtics Radio Network. The home of the Bruins, Patriots, Rams, and Celtics. Boston's home for sports is the Sports Hub. Officially media group station. The coach's interview brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market. Download the Shaw's and Star Market deals and delivery apps today. Save on groceries and gas. Go shopping. Get rewards. Shaw's and Star Market, the official supermarkets of the Boston Celtics radio network. And now here's Sean Grandy with Coach Joe Mazzula. All right, Sean, thank you. Since we uh, we had a lot of X's and O's wonky stuff to do, which is always so compelling. So let me start with this instead. As the tournament is going on now and all of our eyes are either distracted or not by it. It's on, it's on constantly. It's been a part of our lives at some level for pretty much our entire lives. Do you watch, you pay attention? Do you romanticize about this time of year? What's going on when the tournament is on? Does it, does it cross into your transom at all? Uh, I, I enjoy watching the games just because you take a look at what wins and what loses at the most critical mm -hmm. of times. And so I think watching these games, especially the when there's a higher differential seed, you can kind of look at it from the lens of how we look at our games of like what wins, why there's upsets. Uh, so you kind of, I like to study those things, why there's an upset, what goes into that. Um, and, you know, the Northwestern uh, FAU game was a, was a great example of kind of situational basketball and what led into an overtime and then studying the momentum of, a, of an overtime and the difference between shot selection and, and offensive execution. So you're always looking for ways to kind of, especially in high-stress moments where uh, the NCAA tournament's a high-stress moment, so it's really good to take a look at uh, what are the most important things under stress. Does your brain 
process the rule changes and what's different about it as you're watching? Because you watch so many end of game situations yeah. in the NBA. How does your brain work when you're watching a college game with different rules and different all everything's? Different. I mean, you think you're just looking for the concepts, the momentum, yeah. and the themes of like, hey, this is what wins regardless. You know, uh, this is what this is what gets you beat regardless. And I think if you can find those uh, connections, it can kind of you know help you. Of all the zone conversation that came out of the game the other night, what caught my attention, what you said afterwards, was that inherently it slows you down when you're playing against the zone, and that struck me as pretty important when getting shots early in the clock and all of that is a big priority. So what is the cure for a zone slowing you down? Yeah, that was so good. I'm so grateful for the zone, and I hope uh, Detroit plays it the entire game tonight so we can get more reps at it. But it doesn't slow the pace down. It slows your thinking down. And, you know, I mm-hmm. think there's uh, – anytime you play zone, you're carrying the uh, the teachings of your high school coach, college coach, you know, where, like, there's a certain way to play against the zone. In reality, in the NBA, there is no zone because of defensive three seconds. So sure. you should quickly get into your spacing to manipulate the zone, and then it should – it'll end up being man depending upon your spacing. So where it slowed us down is it just slowed our reads down as far as, like, we were running the same stuff. The reads are just a little bit different because it's IE uh, zone for a quick second. But I thought the guys did a great job of adjusting later in the fourth quarter uh, of get manipulating the zone, forcing them to match up man, and then we play it into our system. So there, so it was a good learning for us to be able to go through that. Uh, we just have to be able to get to our reads regardless of what the defense is. But it starts with getting to our spacing, and then the reads are much clearer. Peyton's getting a lot of love for his game the other night, and now for a player his size, nobody has as many offensive rebounds as he does. And when I see him going for it, it strikes me very much like a safety blitz in football. Like there's risk reward whenever you see him take off. And I imagine to some degree there is there has to be a lot of trust in the player to pick his spots when to do that. No, there's a complete trust in Peyton. I mean, uh, on, on both ends of the floor. His defense, it doesn't matter the matchup. He's going to put up a fight. He pushed the p- catch out on Portis and got a steal when they tried to post him, pushing in transition on the offensive end for pull-up threes or finding guys. He's just he's really growing as a player, understanding that uh, you know who he is as a player, but each and every night there's a different way to impact the game, and he comes in excited to work to do that, and it's been fun watching him grow as a player. We saw the Pistons Monday. They actually have more injuries than they did four days ago, which is a tribute to a new level of bad luck they have had as we get to this stage of the season your place in the standings and you're always focused on what you need to do on any given night but is there even less focus on well Cade Cunningham and Jalen Duran run a high pick and roll 18 percent of the t- is there less of that as we move into some of these games towards the end no I think the goal is to find more of that and mm-hmm. you know so a couple of the things that today are like what are the things regardless of who you're playing against the themes and the concepts that are going on within a game that either gave you trouble that might give you trouble uh, that will give you trouble if you don't work on them and so like tonight I hope we see a whole game of zone so that we can uh, just continue to work the reads on that uh, very similar to coming out of the Milwaukee there was four ATOs that Milwaukee ran coming out of the corners that we executed two out of those floor very well and then tonight with Fournier, Ivy and Cunningham when they're in the corners there's actions coming out to get to their right hand so we're going to guard those appropriately uh, and then just be, you know they're also double big just like Milwaukee was and so continuing the trend of us being the more physical team rebounding changing matchups doing all that stuff is important so it's really not about necessarily the names it's about like what are the themes and concepts that are going to come up tonight and then how do we have to make sure we execute those. That's Joe. You um, you stand in front of microphones and have to answer now thousands and thousands of questions throughout the course of the year. Some of them invariably are either designed to or inadvertently could cause some sort of rift between you and the president of basketball operations. And we are sitting in a building named for a chain that makes pizza that he swears by that actually is high quality that he loves. Can any Rhode Islander, New Englander, New Yorker, with a straight face, stand by that stance and allow it to be said out loud. What stance is that? That Little Caesars pizza somehow is superior to what you might find in an actual pizzeria in the actual Northeast, in an <laughs> actual city. I'm staying out of that one. Come on now. <laughs> Take a stand. You've earned it. So you've got the you best record in the league. Today. You've been coach of the month. So, I mean, there, you've had a couple of good months coaching because you won yeah. coach of the I month. I am going to take a stand time. by not taking a stand. <laughs> I tried. I did my best. Celtics and Pistons next on the Better MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we're changing the way homeowners think about roofing, siding, and window projects. It doesn't have to be stressful or take weeks of your time. Our process is efficient and stress-free every step of the way. It starts with a free consultation where we discover the best options for your home and budget together. We want to talk with you, not at you. And most of all, we want to listen. At Marshall, we know every roofing, siding, and window project is unique, so we work hard to never lose sight of your vision. 
It's your project, your terms. Why settle for less? At the UPS Store, we know things can get busy this upcoming holiday. You can count on us to be open and ready to help with any packing and shipping or anything else you might need. Is there anything you can't do? Um, actually, I don't have a good singing voice. <clears throat> the UPS... Nope. But our certified packing experts can pack and ship just about anything. At least that's good. The UPS Store. Be unstoppable. Most locations are independently owned. Product, services, pricing, and hours of operation may vary. See center for details. Come in today to get your holiday goodies there on time. Spring is just around the corner. Upgrade now and take advantage of Ag Leaders' limited time offers, including special financing on Sure Drive and Sure Force, or a per nozzle discount on Right Spot. Contact your local Ag Leader dealer to learn more. T-Mobile 5G home internet can leave you with slower speeds during its busiest hours. Why deal with that? Switch to Cox Internet with two times faster download speeds than T-Mobile 5G home internet during peak hours. Visit cox.com slash 5G home to learn more. The games play here. Right to Pasha, steers it to the left corner. Great, she's got it. Right circle, Pasha, fires, he scores! David Poster now! Jones under center. A give to Stevenson. Runs it through the right side. Go! Goal. Bounces outside the 20. Goodbye. To the 10. To the 5. End zone bound. Patriots take the lead. Touchdown, New England. Big, big, two. You're two, listening to 98.5 The Sports Hub. Stay tuned for more. The home of the bees. The Sports Hub. Nine straight home games for the Celtics. Nine straight blowout wins. And Wednesday night, the Celtics led by 21 early in the fourth. But the Bucks weren't about to get knocked out. They made every shot, grabbed every loose ball, except the one they needed. Tatum. Bumping with Beasley. Turns on him, mid-block, ball away, short, rebound. Oh. Porzingis oh. snatches it away from Portis and throws it down with two hands. Ooh, a big fella attack. Ten straight wins at home for the Celtics as they say goodbye to the Garden for now. Is now the season's final road trip and its longest road trip begins. Six games, 11 days, and the number one overall seed in sight. Celtics begin the trip against the Pistons in Detroit. Next. This is Boston Celtics basketball. The 1957 season is over. The Celtics are a world champion. The Celtics are brought to you by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks and presenting sponsor of the Celtics radio network. Please bet responsibly. Clinton Savings Bank, Catches Law, Valvoline Instant Oil Change, and by Hub International New England. The ball game is over. The Celtics have won the world championship. By Town Fair Tire, Cambridge Savings Bank, Shaw's and Star Market, Bosch Tools, and and by Ticketmaster. The Boston Celtics have won the world championship for the 15th time. Also brought to you by Jack Abbey Brewing, Wendy's, The Commuter Rail, UMass Lowell, your New England Honda dealers, East Coast Metal Roofing, and by DraftKings Sportsbook. It is Banner 17. The mission statement is mission accomplished. Now, here's Sean Granty and Cedric Maxwell. At Little Caesars Arena in downtown Detroit, where the Celtics have had a little more success than they did at its predecessor, the Palace of Auburn Hills. In fact, the Celtics have won eight of the ten games they have played in this building, eight of nine in front of fans. One of those games was a pandemic game that had no fans that the Celtics lost on New Year's Day in 2021. Let's check out the starting lineups, which, as always, are brought to you by Cambridge Savings Bank. Put CSB into your small business's starting lineup to move your business forward. Creative solutions, quick decisions. Visit CambridgeSavings.com backslash small business to start your relationship today. It seems like heresy to try to give you the Pistons starting lineup over the background of the legendary John Mason, the public address announcer here. But it doesn't have the same feel that it used to. Gabe Cunningham and Jaden Ivey, that's going to be the backcourt here for a long time. But the front court totally different tonight with all the injuries they have. Troy Brown Jr., the former lottery pick of the Washington Wizards. Tosan Uoma, who we have talked about extensively, telling his story. We saw him from Memphis early in the year on Monday night. And with the late scratch to Jalen Duran, who is still listed as a starter, we'll tell that James Wiseman will start in his place. The Celtics tonight will go without Drew Holiday. They will go without Al Horford. They will go without Jason Tatum. So Xavier Tillman will make his first start as a member of the Celtics, joining these four. Peyton Pritchard, University of Oregon. Derek White, University of Colorado. Jalen Brown, California, Berkeley. Christoph Porzingis. Baloncesto Sevilla. So the Celtics max 13 games remaining, including tonight. How many of those 13 do you think we'll see the regular starting five? 
three, four, maybe, of the 13? Yeah, I think maybe two or three. I'd say three. I'd say three because it's, I think you want them to get back into a rhythm. And that's interesting because, remember, you want to get some rhythm, particularly in those final games of the regular season, because you're going to have a week off virtually because of the play-in tournament while you're waiting for your opponent. So it's going to be an interesting thing to manage. Celtics' magic number to clinch the number one seed in the Eastern Conference is three with 13 games to go. It is six to clinch best record overall over OKC and potentially Denver as well. It's a nice touch for Xavier Tillman to get the start here in Michigan. Obviously played his basketball in college for Tom Izzo at Michigan State. You gotta love when you come back home and make an impact. The opening tip brought to you by Gulf. It all starts here. Download the Gulf Bay app and save five cents per gallon. Gulf, an official partner of the Boston Celtics. 55 and 14, a 10 and a half game lead, 11 in the loss column over Milwaukee, 12 in the loss column over Cleveland. Who said Orlando has now replaced New York in the fourth spot in the Eastern Conference. Double road uniforms tonight on the start of this back to back. Celtics in the road green, white letters and numbers. They will go right to left here in the first half of the Little Caesars. Detroit in their city edition, road black jerseys, silver numbers, white letters, orange trim, orange socks. They will go left to right. Wiseman, a rare loss. He hands to Porzingis on the opening tap back into the hands of Jaden Ivey. And away we go. Thanks for spending part of your March Madness Friday night with us. Ball in the hands of James Wiseman straight away. Here's the handoff to Ivey against Tillman. Push pass, back, right side, driving Cunningham off the wrong foot. Little slip shot comes up short, and the rebound defensively secured by Jalen Brown. Hit that defensive glass, going to be important. Derrick White. Against to Jalen. Yes, against Ivy. Enter Porzingis against Cunningham. Puts it off the glass, no good. Didn't get that close. And the rebound belongs to Wiseman. Wiseman came over, put a hand up, protected him. First start for Wiseman, Cunningham. Moves it right side to Womo with the bounce entry. Jalen Brown anticipates it and comes up with the steal. Jalen Brown will pull up three. Left side on Wiseman is no good. And a defensive rebound for Cade Cunningham. Cunningham on the move. Head up middle of the floor. Lead pass for Wiseman for the two-hand slam. Now he should be able to do that all day. And runs like a doggone gazelle. Must play, play like a gazelle, though. Interesting to see one, but the Ivy Leaguer out there. I just talked to another former Celtic assistant, great Ivy Leaguer, Jerome Allen. Excited about the Yale win just now. Tillman lobs the entry to Porzingis. Diagonal kick out. Jalen Brown up, fakes the three. Drives to get closer, shovels to Porzingis over the shoulder. Derek White in the left corner, fall away, contested three. Rims out the shot clock buzzer. Rebound, Tillman wins the hustle play. Finds Derek White. He attacks Cunningham, pushes it up, no good. Late foul call. That was a compromise call for the shot had gone in. They weren't going to call it. It didn't. So Derek White will get free throws. Good job by Tillman tracking that basketball down. He'd be get it before they were able to get the basketball and immediately kick it over. You make friends in some very comfortable ways when you rebound the basketball on your defensive end like that and shoot, get it over to a shooter. Celtics will be in Chicago tomorrow. Every time the Bulls try to win a game to get back to 500, they lose. So there'll be two games under when we see them tomorrow. Boston, Houston last night. The Rockets, by the way, are putting some pressure. They've won seven in a row, matching the Celtics for longest win streak in the league. They're putting some pressure on Golden State for that final play-in spot. Derek White missing the second free throw. Tillman punches the rebound all the way out to Derek White. Peyton Pritchard coming off some big games, averaging nearly 19 a game the last three. Steps to his left, off balance three, got it. And he came off that pick, and again, if you haven't yet read this guy's report on this gear right now, shame on you. 122 threes now for Peyton Pritchard. Celtics lead 4 2. Nate Cunningham, with Pritchard in front of him. It's the Wiseman screen. Now Tillman jumps out of Cunningham. Eight up shot clock. Skip pass into the corner. You won't miss. Skip toast the baseline. Shovel pass underneath. Wiseman fouled going up for the shot by Porzingis. The club dumped that basketball. What was that movie I saw one time before? I was talking about Patrick Young. Was it analyze this? Mm, yeah. Pat, you got a dunk. No, I oh, can't do that part. He was also, I believe he was in Eddie, the movie where Whoopi Goldberg ends up coaching the Knicks. Mm. One of those movies was done down in Charlotte. A buddy of mine was in an extra in one of those movies. No, it was he was in the extra in the was a movie called Juana Man? Yes. Yes. Juana he, Man, yeah. He, he was in that movie down in Charlotte as an extra. Wiseman gets the free throws. Oh, he got a nice stroke for a deal. Tied it for he's got all the tools, but the toolbox is what everybody has questions. 
Tied at four, a little over two minutes in. Pritchard pushed past for Jalen Brown. Gonna try the right side of the floor. Woma in front of him. Jalen switches to the left hand. Attacks, elevates to the free throw line. Shot is good. He's yeah. going wherever he wants to yeah. go these days. When he hits these shots, it's almost a... off balance. 6 4, Cunningham. Switches to the right hand, drives on Tillman. Cradles the ball, runs it off the window and in. Yeah, that's got a head of steam going. That's the thing that Cunningham can do. Derek White, lead from Pritchard, steps in on Ivy, past him, lays it up with the left hand, does not get the bounce, and Wilma has the rebound. Well, he beat Ivy, but he couldn't finish. Yeah, that's hard to do with this quick. Cunningham, pull up three over Jalen, rims out, rebound, in and out of the hands, Wiseman has it back, throws it back up and in. Didn't we say something about second chance opportunities? One of the few areas where Detroit is above average in the league mm -hmm. is rebounding. Jalen Brown, pounding Troy Brown, steps through him, throws it out of the wing for Porzingis. One dribble, bounce pass out for Pritchard. Pritchard, right hand dribble, coming strong, waiting for him, you won't, but so he backs it out, six on the shot clock, return to Porzingis. Porzingis, Ooh. step back on Ivy, push shot is no good. Ivy just threw a forearm shiver into the midsection of Porzingis, and teams just get badly outsized on that mix, uh, mismatch. The Celtics hunt the mismatch, and then teams are just being, trying to be crazy physical with Porzingis. I mean, that, that was blatant assault this time. A little shot to the elbow, shot to the gut. First free throw for Porzingis Por is good. Porzingis said it though. He said the way teams feel like they're going to try to beat us is they're going to try to be extremely physical. Try to knock us around. Try to get us out of position. Try to get us away from thinking about the game. He gets the free throws and we start over again. High score is eight. A little over three minutes in. It's been a rough year for Monty Williams on that Detroit sideline. Cunningham, slowed down by Jalen Brown. And Derek White in front of him, Cunningham, considering his options, Tillman blitzes at him, Cunningham got a move now, a five in the shot clock, throws it up in the air. Wiseman near the rim, grabs it and throws it down with two hands. And Wiseman and Cunningham, for two guys who haven't played together a ton, have been very much in sync here the first four minutes. Celtics trail by two, bounce entry, Porzing is going to work on Cunningham, ball punched away, Derek White saves it, turns the corner, drives baseline and runs it off the window and in. Looking for that pass over, but decided just go up with it. Game tied at 10. Cade Cunningham. Pritchard in front of him. Right side of the floor. Pritchard reaching for the ball. Knocks it away out of bounds. Stopping the shot clock with 16 left. When you see Pritchard, he hunts, he hunts your own defense. He's getting up on you. If you're a small guy, you can keep a guy on the floor. You have the advantage. The closer he gets to, to the rim, he has the advantage there. Troy Brown lobs it into Ivy. Ivy out of the wing against Tillman. Good speed. Ivy right hand dribble, blows by Tillman, shovels to the cutter, scooping it up no good as your Wilma, but he's fouled and we'll get free throws. And you will watch it. Ivy over and over again. He can accelerate as well as anybody. This time a, a shot towards the basket and hit Porzingis with the body as he was going in. Get a couple of free throws. I think Monty Williams has said about these guys is the fact that they will. They will play hard. He hasn't, the effort has not been there. The results have it, but the effort is always, he, he's praised these guys about their effort. And then a couple of times when they felt like they got screwed, he really went at the, the referee. Loma, the former Princeton Tiger, gets the free throws. 12-10 is the Detroit lead. And four minutes in. We've seen this pattern a lot with teams staying close to the Celtics for a while. And then eventually just don't have the firepower. Poor Zingas. Out of the three-point line, Pritchard finally comes to get it, turns the corner on the left side, hounded by Ivy, ball moved to the middle, Porzingis waiting, free throw line jumper right down the middle. Boy, ready to catch and shoot. Gathers is as well as any big and I've seen at his size. Four for Porzingis, eight for Wiseman here in the first couple of minutes. Cunningham for Wiseman, bounce entry, Cunningham falling backwards away from Pritchard, knocks down a tough shot. Yeah, he wins a lot of things, a lot of twos in that bag. 13-12, Detroit by one, Pritchard drives baseline, flips it out to Porzingis on the wing, up fakes the three, looking to hand off to Jalen, does nine on the shot clock, Jalen Brown lobs it on the inside, too tall for Porzingis, Jalen throws it away, Cunningham live ball turnover, races into the front court lead for Ivy who steps in past Derek White. Scoops and scores with the right hand. He never let him sit himself. 15-12, Detroit by three. Jalen, left hand dribble drive coming strong in the paint. At the last second, trying to throw it into the corner. Nobody was there. 
Douglas got crossed up. Porzingis and Jalen Brown not on the same page. Pistons will get it when we return. 520 gone by at Little Caesars. Detroit 15, Boston 12 on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we're changing the way homeowners think about roofing, siding, and window projects. It doesn't have to be stressful or take weeks of your time. Our process is efficient and stress-free every step of the way. It starts with a free consultation where we discover the best options for your home and budget together. We want to talk with you, not at you. And most of all, we want to listen. At Marshall, we know every roofing, siding, and window project is unique, so we work hard to never lose sight of your vision. It's your project, your terms. Why settle for less? Looking to consolidate your debt, lower your interest rate, or need to borrow money? We can help. Borrow up to $50,000 with a personal loan from Westerly Community Credit Union. With our low rates, you can enjoy one monthly payment you can afford. Apply today at westerlyccu.com slash loan. Visit one of our branches located in Wakefield, Westerly, Richmond, or Coventry. Or call 401-596-7000 today. Are you interested in owning a short-term rental? Analyze easier, invest wiser, and list smarter with AirDNA by your side. The trusted advisor for hosting and investing. Launch your journey at AirDNA.co today. Spring is just around the corner, and there's still time to upgrade your equipment with the latest technology from Ag Leader. From SureForce downforce control to Sure Drive electric drives for your planter to right spot nozzle by nozzle control for your sprayer, Ag Leader has you covered for all your field work. Upgrade now and take advantage of our limited time offers, including special financing on Sure Drive and Sure Force or a per nozzle discount on right spot. Contact your local Ag Leader dealer to learn more and reap the benefits this spring. You're in the middle of mulching and about four bags short. Oh no. But your toddler is asleep. You could wake her up, strap her into the car seat. She's crying, you're crying, everyone's crying. Why do that to yourself when you could use Instacart to go to Lowe's to get the mulch you need in as fast as an hour? Who's crying now? No one. Do it yourself, but don't do it alone with Instacart and Lowe's. Download the Instacart app or visit instacart.com to get free delivery on your first order. $10 minimum. Terms apply. Connect with Boston's home for sports online. 98.5 thesportshub.com. Celtics trail by 315-12, but it's early. Celtics basketball brought to you by East Coast Metal Roofing, official roofing partner of the Boston Celtics. Visit East Coast Metal Roofing, your lifetime roofing solution. We only a couple mistakes so far. This happens when you don't have the, you know, the regular guys out there, and you're trying to acclimate to the other guys out on the floor. Brown and Porzingis have been on the same page for all year long. It's almost funny to see them misconnect. Okay, Cunningham will walk it up. Left side, Uoma. Hand off, Jaden Ivey. Ivey challenged by Jalen Brown. Coming strong on the right side. Crazy scoop shot with the right hand. He threw it up with one hand. Oh. No good offensive rebound. Wiseman put back. Blocked by Porzingis. And Tillman controls the loose ball. Derek White lobs ahead to Jalen Brown. Tiptoes under the basket. One dribble. Turns. Tough wow. angle, and he banks it in. He had no angle at all. He made that angle by just getting in the air. 15-14. Uoma has to Cunningham in the corner, going to pull up, take the 16-footer and knock it down just a half step before Porzingis could get there. One thing you're starting to see these guys do, Detroit, the pace. They are going a tremendous pace. Pistons are 7 of 11. Tillman and to Jalen Brown. Works his way to the elbow, spins back against Kate Cunningham, makes the extra pass, but he got fouled on the dish off. Jalen's been pretty physical, and now the return of Sam Hauser. When last we saw Sam, five days ago in Washington, he was on his way to challenging Clay Thompson's NBA record for threes in the game when he got hurt early in the third quarter Oops. after making his 10th three. Out of the side of the bounce, Porzingis fakes the handoff to Jalen Brown, throws the bounce pass to him, wow. cutting behind 48, and he scores with the left hand. That was a great pass. The vision, man, and the relief. They could make that. That pass through a little thimble. One of the real joys of this Ooh. season. Cunningham ball fake on Tillman. He tried to cuff him. Missed the dunk. And a late foul call is going to give Cunningham free throws. 
Whoa. And after the whistle, 48 launched a three. As Joe Mazzula in front of us here <laughs> gets to half court and just stares him down since he's been asked not to challenge any more shots. Well, you ask your kids to do something sometimes, it doesn't always work. Don't do that. That's my favorite thing when my kids were young is, why did you do that? And my kids would always give me that shoulder shrug. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Cunningham gets the free throws, 19-16. Detroit by three. They are seven of 11 to begin the game. Jalen Brown hounded by Fournier, switches to the right hand. Shoves Fournier away, moves to his left behind the Porzingis screen. Cross court, Tillman waiting. Moves into the corner. Sam Hauser against Kate Cunningham. Return to Tillman. Now the handoff, Hauser. Tillman sets the screen. Hauser launches a three. It's no good. And Wiseman pulls down the rebound. Cunningham up the middle of the floor against Jalen Brown. He zips it down low and is caught and laid in. Looks like Wiseman again. Wiseman's running like a reindeer out there. Wiseman already in double figures. He's got 10. Quick three, left side, Porzingis, he liked it as soon as it left his fingers, all net. Second three for the Celtics, they cut it to two, 21-19, now a turnover. Oh, this is a phonetic pace. Pritchard enters to Hauser and scores. Ties the game at 21. Second Fournier in on the baseline. Cunningham will walk it up. Tillman will come out the challenge on the wing. Cunningham ducks the shoulder, drives, runs it off the glass, does not get the bounce, but he does get the rebound. His reverse block, put back blocked by Porzingis. Loose ball, Wiseman gobbles up another one, and the short put back is good, and that is enough for Joe Mazzulla, and he is furious. At who, I'm not quite sure. Wow. But the Celtics are getting out-hustled here in the early going. Eight rebounds for Detroit, four of them on the offensive end. 4.13 to go opening quarter. Detroit 23, Boston 21 on the Bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position, with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Shopify helps you sell at every stage of your business. Like that, let's put it online and see what happens stage. And the site is live. That we opened a store and need a fast checkout stage. Thanks, you're all set. That count it up and ship it around the globe stage. This one's going to Thailand. And that, wait, did we just hit a million orders stage? Whatever your stage, businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for your $1 a month trial at shopify.com slash listen. Are you a short-term rental host or investor looking to level up your game? Meet AirDNA, your trusted advisor in the vacation rental industry. With AirDNA, you'll gain a competitive edge. We provide insights that help you make smarter decisions. Adjust prices at the right time, add those winning amenities, and discover your next real estate investment hotspot. We're more than just data. We're your entrepreneurial launch pad. Visit us at airdna.co to get started today. Backstagecountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Award-winning movies often have incredible soundtracks, and many of those have gone on to become country gold. We've picked our top five country songs that have been nominated for an Oscar. Text OSCAR to 45911 to see if your favorite made the list on BackstageCountry.com. Text OSCAR to 45911, and we'll send the link straight to your phone. David Pasternak plays here. High slot now, McAvoy, far side, Pasternak shoots, looking for the tip. It comes back to him, fires, he scores! He's got another! Marsh in, high slot, looks back door, swings it across, popping out, Pasternak shoots, he scores! Marsh has got it right, circle, Bergeron to Pasternak, shoots, he scores! This is the home of the Bees, 98.5 The Sports Hub. The Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. 
Out of the timeout. Some discomfort on that Boston bench. Celtics trailing by two. O'Shea Brissett in the game. Tillman comes out and Joe Mazzulla just lit him up during that timeout. Pritchard switches to the left hand, driving strong. Foul to reach in by Roden. We did not see Jared Roden earlier this year. We may get a look. I would not be surprised when this night is over. Jim Beheim's son, Buddy Beheim. Jared Roden, second year man out of Seton Hall, playing in his seventh game, but the first time he has played meaningful minutes. Peyton Pitcher was trying to get a call. Wow, that's a tough play. Wow. Quick entry off the side out of bounds into Jalen Brown, who stares down Kate Cunningham after laying it in. They lost him. That ties the game at 23. Roden. Handling the point here, bad pass. Jalen Brown jumps the passing lane in front of Cade Cunningham. Little finger roll lays it up and in. Back to back buckets for Jalen Brown. He's starting to dominate here. He's got eight. And the Celtics have taken the lead 25 23. It's a 9 to 2 Boston run. But he read that pass all the way. Cade Cunningham to his right against Jalen. Bounce pass for the cutter. Roden going to throw to the corner. Uwoma misses the three. Rebound, Hauser deflects it, but right to Uwoma, who spins, throws it to in the paint, where Shamiz Metu has got it for Roden. Steps into the free throw line. His jumper bounces in. Well, second chance opportunities again. Southwick's not securing the basketball. Roden ties the game at 25. Pistons now with five offensive rebounds early. Jalen Brown against 48. Oh, cross court. Hauser, pretty good look. Right side three. No good. He had to reach for it a little bit. Offensive rebound, Luke Cornett, and he draws a loose ball foul. Way to get inside then. Condor, able to get those hands on that basketball. Trying to go back up with it. The only situation here. A couple free throws. Monty Williams trying to get Sasser in the game. Scores understand when, excuse me, scores understand when you know, you're in the penalty. And I think the Condor is the score now. What's really interesting is that we talk about all these guys as Cornette, a rare free throw mess. Luke Cornette had been leading the Celtics in free throw shooting all year long. He was up to 91% until that miss. He doesn't get any as many attempts, so a miss is going to plummet that free throw percentage. That Luke Cornett was the opposite of the guys like Lopez and Al Horford who became three-point shooters later. Luke Cornett actually came into the league as a seven-foot-two guy that was shooting threes. Now he doesn't take them at all. No, no. And some others asked me about that. Said why? I said that was by choice because you know he knows what he wants to do now. 26-25, Boston by one after Cornett gets one of the free throws. Sasser for Fournier straight away against O'Shea Brissett. Switches to the right hand, attacks the paint, falls to his left, trying to lob it up in the air. Let's hope that was a lob, not just a bad shot. Cornett grabs it out of the air and hands to Peyton Pritchard. Pritchard into the front court, moving to his right against Troy Brown. Close it to the wing, Hauser waiting there, pushes back to Pritchard. Peyton Pritchard points with his left hand. Now puts the ball in the left and Troy Brown in front of him. Cornette comes out, sets a high screen. Pritchard, six on the shot clock, driving it deep against Metsu, bumps him away subtly, and then lays it in off the glass. Hmm. Boy, Pritchard playing big boy basketball. 12-4 is the Boston run. They lead by three, 28-25. Sasser for Fournier. Enters to Metsu, hand back to Fournier, runs into the left corner for a fall away three that's no good. And the Celtics have the rebound. Jalen Bradley, pass, Hauser catches in stride, lays it up, no good. He missed the layup. After a perfect lead pass by Jalen Brown. He was anticipating contact. Sasser, step back three, ties the game. That's a big swing right there. Yes. Hauser misses the layup. Sasser hits the three. That might have been the best pass I've ever seen Jalen Brown throw. That was immaculate. Hit him around the fingertips. Game tied at 28. Minute 18 to go in the first. Jalen whips it to the left corner. Field by Pritchard. Steps to his right away from the charging Troy Brown. Bricks the three badly. 48 has the rebound. And here comes Sasser floating it ahead to Troy Brown. Brown attacking Hauser. Throws to the left corner, but Roden was he out of bounds when he caught it. Won't matter. They're calling a loose ball foul. Or off block is the call against Luke Cornett. Well after the pass. Celtics had a foul to give. So Detroit ball here in a tie game in a minute seven to go in the first. Fournier will trigger and save to Sasser. Sasser, right hand dribble, steps inside the elbow, kick to the left corner. Troy Brown knocks down a three. 
Well, Missoula doesn't like giving up these 30-point quarters here as we go into the final minute. Detroit 12 of 22. Celtics losing the shot margin, losing in a lot of areas here. Hauser runs off the screen, catches left side, three in the air is no good. Rebound belongs to the Pistons. Sasser on the move. Sasser going to spin back out of the wing, guarded by Pritchard. Two for one here for the Pistons, leading by three late in the first quarter. Sasser switches to the left hand, push pass for Troy Brown, same spot, same result. Back-to-back -back threes by Troy Brown, a 9-0 run for the Pistons, and they have their largest lead up by six. Richard ducks the shoulder, kicks back to the trailer. Brissett going to drive no. instead, tried to flush it, gets fouled late, and Brissett will shoot free throws. Oh, so you got some hops going, going to his right like that. He was all the way in the rim. Up, up, and away. Elevated, you hit him on the arms, he went in. That's who the former Sacramento King. With the block and the foul, 30 different players have played for the Pistons this year. 30. Brissett bounces the first free throw in. Because I'm sitting behind scale right now, all I can see right now is fair club for me. He's, he, uh, I think, Dr. I think he's Dr. Leonard. I'm not sure. No, he's a hair club man. Yeah. I know that. You know how they do that? They take the hair from like the back of your head. Brissett misses the second free throw. 34-29. I don't think I got none back there. So. Detroit by five, hand the ball. Four second differential on the two clocks as we count it down to the first quarter. Sam Hauser out defending Sasser. Six on the shot clock. Sasser switches to the left hand. Now back to the right, drops it. Has a back shovel to Fournier. Two on the shot clock. Fournier's got to launch it. Spins and he throws a pass. With the shot clock winding down, Fournier lost the shot clock, and the Celtics will get it with four seconds remaining. All the way into the rim there with that basketball. Let's see how fast Bridget can get up the floor here. This is one thing I don't like. You, you can't give a guy like that a running start. And you well, do. they do. Pritchard hits half court with three seconds. Pritchard pull up three to beat the buzzer. Got it. And that'll do it for the first quarter. The Pistons let their guard down, and they give away three points at the end of the quarter. We'll see if that matters. End of one at Little Caesars, Detroit 34, Boston 32 on the Ben MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position with great pay and excellent benefits like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Does your money work hard for you? Earn more with an e-checking account from Westerly Community Credit Union. Get a crazy high interest rate, plus there's no monthly fee, no minimum balances, and you get up to $20 each month in free ATMs. Visit us online at westerlyccu.com slash e-checking or visit one of our branches to open an account today. Spring is just around the corner, and there's still time to upgrade your equipment with the latest technology from Ag Leader. From SureForce downforce control to Sure Drive electric drives for your planter to right spot nozzle by nozzle control for your sprayer, Ag Leader has you covered for all your field work. Upgrade now and take advantage of our limited time offers, including special financing on Sure Drive and Sure Force or a per nozzle discount on right spot. Contact your local Ag Leader dealer to learn more and reap the benefits this spring. The games play here. Here's Nieto. He'll scramble in. Feet to the high slot. Carlson sent it out in front. Nieto a shot. And that tip denied by Omar, who scrambled left to right. Special man. Jones with a reset. Leans forward. Takes the snap from Andrews. Drops back. Stands in. Throws it back. Shoulder Myers. Catches the 45 near side. Tackled by Sherman. Boy, they're going to work. Against the former All-Pro. You're listening to 98.5 The Sports Hub. Stay tuned for more. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. Celtics down two as we go to the second. Max's keys to the game brought to you by your local New England Honda dealer. Adventure more. Worry less with a certified pre-owned Honda. And Honda back benefits. Learn more at NewEnglandHondaDealers.com. Keith? Should, should, should we cheer more for the team when they score in the fourth? 
You can get up wow. like Scal did. Obviously, yeah. Oh, they were like, give me some. Things are starting to make more sense now that I watched, wow. them, watched them cheering during games. Derek White, bounce pass for Sam Hauser. Out on the left side, hand back to Derek White. It's a hard screen for Luke Cornett. Turns the corner on Roden, straight away three. Comes up short, front iron. And the rebound for Roden. Roden, Sasser, Fournier, Wiseman, and Troy Brown out there for Detroit. Celtics with Mihailuk, Hauser, Pritchard, White, and Cornett. Sasser, pull up 12 footer is no good. Rebound, weak side. Derek White. Push up the middle of the floor. Derek White looking for the opening hand to Pritchard. Pritchard against Troy Brown, switches to the right hand, coming strong. Tiptoes the baseline, throws to the left corner. Hauser waiting for three. That was all day by himself. Defense collapsed, lost him, Sit in the corner, knocked down the jump shot. Celtics regain the lead, 35-34. Hauser has an outside shot at the Celtics all-time record for three-point percentage in a year. Sasser gets deep in the paint. Roden moves it back to Sasser. Shuttles back to an open Roden. Right side three. Got it. So the Pistons, four of seven from three. Celtics, four of 11. Cornette, return to Pritchard. Right corner three. He's got some room, and he knocks it down. Well, he is playing. He's past confidence now. I don't even know what that that's, is. That's a new level. No. That's confidence plus one. Sasser. There's left side, Troy Brown. Pritchard in front of him. Here's the entry. Wiseman hand back to Troy Brown. Opening taken away, so we'll take the long baseline, too, and knock it down. Troy Brown and Wiseman, two guys who were great in the line, scoring yeah. baskets early. Playing free and easy. No one's coming to take him out of the game. There's the, Monty Williams doesn't have anybody left. Ten lead changes, eight ties early. Pritchard, deep in the paint, step back on Brown, and it bounces. Yes, in. yes, 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 yes. What? I, I, I don't know. Keep doing that. Maybe you'll get to keep cheering. Maybe you'll get the TV show. <laughs> Sasser, with the Celtics now up by one. Steps to the right elbow, and his jumper is good, and no one's getting any stops here. Celtics 15 of 25. Detroit now 16 of 27. 41-40 is the Pistons lead. Luke Cornett, and to Hauser. Jumps to his left, high, arcing, rainbow three is on there. You don't see that one. This time going to his left, nicely done. Second three for Sam Hauser, he's got eight. Sasser turns the corner behind the Wiseman screen. Hauser chases, Sasser going to throw back out the road. And he returns to Sasser on the right side, Wiseman sets the screen, Sasser trickles into the elbow, shovels out to Troy Brown in the corner, Mahai looks, bodies him, shot clock down to four. They return to the road, and Roden going to pull up three, challenged by Derek White, no good back iron, high rebound, pinballs around, and Pachinko's down behind the backboard. And the Celtics will get it, leading by two. I wonder where been at Pachinko. It's been your favorite, your favorite game. We're going to get a game. We're going to put these rods in, and then we put some dominoes up here. I mean. Pritchard. Into the front court. Stumbles. Kick back to Hauser. All alone. Straight away. Three. No good back. Iron Derek White flies in for the rebound. Steps back on the left side. And his three. That bounces out and goes over the top of the backboard. Derek White. Some good looks here for the Celtics. Derek White getting some looks that he would love to have back. This time just miss it and Sam Hauser by himself. Ivy. Paul Wiseman hand to Ivy. Races down the floor in the middle of the paint. Throws a bounce pass to the corner. Three is no good from Troy Brown. Mahai looked the rebound. Lead for Derek White. White in the paint. Finds the cutter. It's Hauser and he is met and blocked by Fournier at the rim. Oh. Fournier just knocked Hauser off balance and knocked the ball away. Here's Fournier, bounce pass for Wiseman, left hand jump hook is good, big swing again, and we're tied at 43. Did, did, did you say something negative about Wiseman? Wiseman did not look good Monday night, but this is probably his best game as a Piston. 14 points, 5 rebounds in 11 minutes. Never made his Pistons debut in Boston last February. Luke Cornett, give and go, gives it back to Derek White, flips it up with the right hand, no good, but he's fouled, and Derek White will shoot free throws. Great pass then by Luke from the top. It hit him around the fingertips there. I hate when you write notes to me. Like I'm that writing, if I'm writing a note to you, it's because it's something you can't say on the air. Adam Hemmels gave, gave me a note to use for this lineup, which I'm not going to use. And Derek White, Peyton Pritchard, Mahila Hauser, and Luke Cornett. First free throw is good. The set going to come back in. Okay. Celtics stayed in a new hotel, new part of town called Corktown. Just off, about a mile off downtown, and what was really cool 
I made the mistake of asking if you saw it because it was like a block across the street from the hotel. But the Police Athletic League has built a baseball field, mm -hmm. and he, well, like a, essentially a minor league type, type of baseball field, and I walked right into it, and something struck me about the location, and it occurred to me, and I looked it up to see if I was right, as Derek White gets the free throw, it is the location of where Tiger Stadium is. Now it's Willie Horton Field. It's a really cool thing to see. And it's, they've really tried to revitalize downtown here. Eisen, left-hand dribble, stops at the free throw line, steps through, feeling contact, throws it up and in, scoring to the foul. And now the Pistons can regain the lead. And that was patience then by Ivan. I haven't seen that. Normally he gets there, just turns the juice on, doesn't really recognize. This time got by his man. They're slowing up just a little bit. Saw a seam, saw a gap, and then went into the body then. All right. You said the Celtics have tried about four different hotels since the Pistons moved downtown. Free throw is good. Three-point play for Ivy. And the Pistons have regained the lead 46-45. You love that old Weston book catalog. Eric White spinning on the baseline. Steps in strong. Reverses it up. No good. Percent crashes but can't control the loose ball. And Ivy comes up with it. Ivy. Driving on Derek White, throws to the corner. Quickly, they push out of the wing to Sasser. Sasser against Hauser, floats it out to Ivy. Left side, puts it to the floor. Driving on Derek White, shovel pass way too hard. Wiseman can't handle it. Hauser has the steal, leaves a three on two. Shovel for Porzingis. He runs into Sasser, reaches out, ties him up for the jump ball. Good job to stop the three on two, but it's going to be a difficult jump ball for Sasser to win. Well, let me tell you, one of the things that happened in is he gave Porzingis the ball too early. Let him get another step going towards the basket where he could be the only one there. And it's a great point. Think about how many times Hauser's been running a fast break. <laughs> See that? Look at that. You know, he's a recipient. And Porzingis wins the jump ball easily. Hauser moves it right side, driving behind look. Okay. He is fouled on the way in, and they're going to give him the bucket because there's goaltending too. That's, it. That's one of the things for a young player. And, and the mistakes he makes. This is one. The ball is already on the glass, and then he goes up and gets it off the glass. And how many close games have the Pistons lost this year? And this is the margin mm -hmm. of how games are decided in the NBA, why young teams make mistakes that cost them games. A high look gets the free throw, so a three point play puts the Celtics back in front. 48 46. The Celtics defense here has been shaky. Never no Holiday, no Horford, no Tatum. Three of their best defenders. Oh. Here's some defense. Ivy's three-pointer is blocked by Brissett into the hands of Hauser. Derek White, offensive end, kick back to Porzingis. Good look at a three. Front iron, no good. The rebound for Troy Brown. Celtics six of 16 now from three. Detroit four of 10. Cunningham, right-hand dribble. Mihailik slides his feet. Cunningham operating with that left-hand dribble. Low block, turns, fades. No good. Weak side defensive rebound for Porzingis. Mihailik held his ground there against Kate Cunningham. Derek White pushes to Mihailik on the wing. Long cross court. Porzingis fakes the handoff to Derek White. The set going to come get it. Instead, Porzingis moves to Derek White. Right corner against Ivy. White, left-hand dribble. Muscles his way into the paint. Forces it up. Scoring in the foul. Got that contact. Not a lot of people in there, but went right to the body. And was able to get hit on the arm as he went up there. 6.38 to go. First half at Little Caesars. Joe Mazzula trying some different kind of lineups. Boston 50, Detroit 46 on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Does your money work hard for you? Earn more with an e-checking account from Westerly Community Credit Union. Get a crazy high interest rate, plus there's no monthly fee, no minimum balances, and you get up to $20 each month in free ATMs. Visit us online at westerlyccu.com slash e-checking or visit one of our branches to open an account today. Spring is just around the corner and there's still time to upgrade your equipment with the latest technology from Ag Leader. From SureForce downforce control to Sure Drive electric drives for your planter to right spot nozzle by nozzle control for your sprayer, Ag Leader has you covered for all your field work. Upgrade now and take advantage of our limited time offers, including special financing on Sure Drive and Sure Force or a per nozzle discount on right spot. Contact your local Ag Leader dealer to learn more and reap the benefits this spring. The games play here. Here's Nieto, he'll scramble in, feed to the high slot, Carlson, send it out in front, Nieto a shot, and that tip denied by Omar, who scrambled left to right. 
Man. Jones with a reset, leans forward, takes the snap from Andrews, drops back, stands in, throws it, back shoulder, Myers catches the 45 near side, tackled by Sherman, boy they're going to work against the former All-Pro. You're listening to 98.5 The Sports Hub, stay tuned for more. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Honda Civic, which car and driver called fun to drive, Honda, the brand named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand for 2023. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Civic or HRV. See dealer for financing details exclusive against I and type R car and driver January 2023 based on 2023 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book. Visit KBB.com for more information. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. Celtics trailing, leading by four, 50 to 46. They trailed by six earlier in the half with defensive numbers pretty ugly for Boston, for both teams, really. Both teams exactly 18 of 33. Celtics have made two more threes and two more free throws. That's the difference in the game. They lead 50 to 46, 14 for James Wiseman, 13. And the Celtics leading score, a hot hand, the offensive rebounding king, Peyton Pritchard. Peyton Pritchard inside out, had a couple of layups, a couple of threes to go down. How's it kind of got going a little bit? Now they're trying to get White involved. Has a tremendous good from the field, but just made the shot. See, can they get in going? Derek White's free throw right down the middle. Back to back three point plays. Mihailuk and Derek White, and the Celtics now lead by five, 51 46. 6.32 to go in the first half. Gabe Cunningham for Jaden Ivey. Milo challenges him. Wiseman sets the screen. Brissett slides his feet. Ivy fumbles it, has it back, pushes it out to Sasser. Extra pass into the corner. Brown runs there, turns, fires the three. No good. And the rebound for Brissett. And he hands to Jalen Brown. The yeah, other defense here in these last couple of minutes for the Celtics. Starting to see moments where Jalen is starting to realize he's the best player on the floor and he's playing like it. He drives, drop back to an open Porzingis. Three is no good. Rebound cutting and keeping Brissett at bay. Comes up with the rebound. Jalen was really like that look there. Sasser. Creeps in, nothing there against Brissett. Starts again, deep on down the right side. So it's a terrible bounce pass. Wiseman's able to save it. Out to Cunningham, who gets a good look, but bricks the three, and the rebound goes out of bounds. The one thing about Jake Cunningham you notice is that he is, he's bigger in person. Bigger in per person. The thing he is, is poised. Always was. I mean, even as a rookie, I've kept saying over and over again, how many times did I say it, that that young man's going to be a problem. Derek White, for Mahalo. Big run here from Mahalik. He finds Jalen cutting free throw line jumper. It's been a layup for him. It's so funny. Jalen's in this run where he can't miss jumpers from the free throw line, but he's struggling to shoot free throws. The Celtics have their largest lead now, up by seven, 53 46. They've scored eight in a row. Ivy, bodied up by Jalen Brown. Now Brissett comes. That leaves somebody open in the corner. It's Brown again. Is three going to come up short? And Derek White flies in for the defensive rebound. Celtics have been much more careful on the defensive glass. Long lead. Porzingis catches. Puts it off the glass. No good. Ivan did a good job staying in front of him. Porzingis never really had his balance. Porzingis just two of six. Brown for Uwoma. Stop by Mihailik, so he flips back to Brown. Cross quarter comes left side. Sasser ducks the shoulder. Drives. Runs it hard off the glass. No good. Late foul call. He's going to get free throws. Porzingis saying call it both ways. Every time we see him, your description of a really genuine, fascinating young player in this league and a really good kid. But when you describe Jaden Ivey, the first word you think of is, wow. Yeah. And the Celtics might be challenging here. I think they are. Ooh, Joe Zula is barking. He is going to challenge. Joe has been cranky tonight from the jump. 4.55 to go first half. Celtics challenging the foul call. Boston 53, Detroit 46 on a bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Lainey Wilson is on a roll. She's delivering great music and teaming up with some of country's hottest acts. Text Laney to 45911 to see which four Laney Wilson collabs have us talking at BackstageCountry.com. Text Laney to 45911 to get a link to the list sent right to your phone from BackstageCountry.com. The Honda you want is here. Now is the perfect time to drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure. 
with great offers now available on the Honda you want. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Passport or Ridgeline and a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Pilot. See dealer for financing details. The games play here. Here's Vienno. He'll scramble in. Feet to the high slot. Carlson sent it out in front. Vienno a shot. And that tip denied by Omar, who scrambled left to right. Bruins crash to the front. Left to the net. Coil out in front. Gas Gibson out of position. He scores! Charlie Coyle with a dangle. Sneaks it inside the near post with Gibson down and out. Bruins 7, Ducks 1. You're listening to 98.5 The Sports Hub. Stay tuned for more. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. The only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. Joe Mazzula challenges the call and is successful. No foul on Porzingis. Oh, who gets the ball? That's, That's what, what they did and David was... Guthrie to left that out of his explanation. I felt like, you know how you've been watching the officials speak right to the camera. That camera they speak to is right next to me. So it was like David Guthrie was, it was a thrill. It was like he was talking directly to me. Well, the, I think they're going to jump in instead of fourth the way everyone's lining up. That's just a smaller thing that you, you get affected by. Me, I'd be like more so like, did I, well, no, Southern's getting basketball. Are you actually doing that? So, Celtics now 32 and 15 on challenges this year, if you're into that sort of thing. They have the ball in a seven point lead here. With 444 to go in the first half. Porzingis will drop step on Wiseman. And it turns into Pritchard. Pritchard turns the corner, flying in past Brown. Muscles it out to the corner, and he throw it away. He did. Had no place to go. He was going towards the basket, and what they did, they cut off the, the, the corner pass. Richard wearing a little bandage above his left elbow, a little cut. You wonder why Big player, cut to wear a bandage. players are always getting cut and missed and scratched. I just hate guys who have long fingernails. Ivy goes to the left hand, drives, fumbles the basketball. Wiseman saves another one. Kick out Yawoma. Yawoma driving on Jalen Brown. Finds the open man on the corner. It's Ivy for three. Too strong in the rebound for Hauser. Quick shovel lead for Pritchard. He's across half court. Drops it for Derek White. Little jump pass for Hauser. Runs to a spot. Going to drive instead on Yawoma. Now return it to Jalen Brown. Plenty of time. 12 on the shot clock. Uh-oh. Jalen. Stop and start. Turns Wiseman around. Goes to the right hand. High <laughs> off the window and in. Jalen just put him in his pocket. Or stopped on the dime and then accelerated going back towards the basket. Ten straight for the Celtics. They lead by nine. Cunningham misses an open three. Rebound Derek White. Chance for the Celtics to take a double-digit lead. Jalen Brown, offensive end. Pounds Cunningham in deep, elevates and gets fouled. Jalen going wherever he wants to go, doing whatever he wants to do. He's in complete control right now. Yeah. And, and, and that's the beauty of a player. When your physical skills, your, your mental skills kept catch up with your physical skills. And when you get on the same page like that, man, you can be a great weapon. The only thing about it is that the free throw line. Where he has really struggled, particularly in the second half, is at 71% for the year towards the bottom of the league among qualifiers. And he misses another one. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news then, but I'm just reporting the facts, guys. Now, he's going to have to get better than that, especially in the playoffs. He misses both, Oops. but Derek White gets the rebound. Kick out, Pritchard, open, three, no good. Back iron, rebound, Cunningham. Celtics had a chance to get double digit lead. Meanwhile, Porzingis knocked down in the backcourt. is going to be called for a foul. He's trying to challenge Cunningham. Porzingis looked like he was trying to run by Cunningham. And Cunningham just turned right into him. Let me see this. Porzingis running. <laughs> he exactly what I just said. He was running. 
And he ran right into Porzingis. Jalen, for the record, is 101st out. He's in bottom 10 of the 110 qualifiers. We're going to see the guy who's dead last, Andre Drummond, tomorrow night. Cunningham drives, runs it with the right hand off the glass. No good. Nobody boxes out Wiseman. Offensive rebound. And instead of the Celtics being up by 11, their lead is now 7. Four-point swing. 55-48. Jalen into the paint. Kicks in the left corner. Fielded low by Derek White. He rises into three and air balls it. Because it was such a low pass. Cunningham. Pulls his way in on Pritchard. Kick back in the wing. Sasser steps away from Hauser to his left. Misses the three. And rebound belongs to the Celtics and Jalen Brown. Great job by Brown. Pritchard. Into the corner. He finds Hauser for three. Well, that's a hell of a play there. Six point swing. You get the three you miss, but you come back and get three. 13 to 2 is the Boston run. They have their first double digit lead. 58 48 with 2.35 to go in the first half. Cunningham entry pass deflected, stolen by Porzingis. Derek White bounce pass lead. Jalen Brown flies in and goes calmly to the left hand layup. I thought, I thought Monty might want to get a timeout there and get some love. Instead, Celtics lead by 12. And counting. Didn't you say Martins late in the game? Joe Mazzula loves this. Eight and a half. Detroit led this game by one midway through the quarter. Sasser cross court. Metsu makes the extra pass into the corner of Cunningham. Cunningham forces one over Derek White. Knocks down a three. Tough shot. Good challenge. Boston lead is nine. 60 to 51. Joe Mazzula barking in the ear of Derek White as he comes across half court. Peyton Pritchard. Finds Jalen Brown right side. Here's the entry. Caught by Porzingis. Porzingis fakes the handoff to Pritchard, drops it, drives, pump fake, draws contact, foul, Porzingis easily abusing Wiseman in the post will get free throws. So, and he played Wiseman for that. A lot of times when you have a shot block, is once you show them the ball, then they're going to get up in the air, turn your body to the side, and then get the contact. Not even try to make the shot, but get the contact. Porzingis free throws as soon as we take 10 seconds for station identification on the Red MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtic. Radio Network. Boston, this is Boston's most listened to sports station. Boston's home for sports. Sports Hub. Uh, Easily media group station. Grady and Max at the Little Caesars Arena in downtown Detroit. I'm trying to think of how many games this year. I didn't got to look this up where the Celtics have not played in front of a sellout crowd. This is not a sellout mm. here tonight. Very, very few. Porzingis. Bounces the second free throw, and it kicks out into the hands of Uoma. So the Celtics have left six points on the table from the free throw line here in the first half. Their lead is 10, 61-51. Cade Cunningham drives, kicks to the corner, 48. Good look at a three, no. Rebound, weak side. Brissett goes over Wiseman to grab it. That's a big-time defensive rebound. Pritchard moves it to Brissett. He is all alone to the corner, and his three is good. What a sequence for O'Shea Brissett. Man, able to get that rebound over Wiseman and then get back on the corner and knock one down. 19 to 5 is the close here to the first half of the Celtics. They have their largest lead up by 13. 48 challenge in the corner by Pritchard. Entry deflected away by Porzingis. Percent lead for Derek White. White running up the middle of the floor, leans into Cunningham, scoops up a wild shot, no good, and they're calling a late foul. Derek White will get free throws with 56.8 to go in the half. Derek White able to get by, but Percent again. If you don't stop making them. <laughs> Simon's like, let's go. What did we shoot? Hey, do you want to get some pom poms? You and I over here, like, you're like scaling your guy in front of me. I didn't know that's how it was done. Yeah. I, ex I said it explains <laughs> a lot. Derek White will go to the free throw line. Where he has four or five. He's just two of seven. Porzingis is two of six. So, how about the Celtics shooting 55%? Jalen Brown is eight for nine. Jalen Brown has been sensational shooting the ball, attacking the rim. Consist consistently doing what he wants to do except at the free throw line. Are you with me on this? Like he's walking around there like he's the best player on the field. Yeah, he knows yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and when you, again, when you feel like that, it's like dressing. When you dress like that, dress to impress, and you know you're the best out there, and you're going to do that. 21-5 is the closing run here for the Celtics. Another bad pass deflected by Porzingis, and the Celtics have another steal. Derek White, skip pass into the corner, pressure and open three. Got it! <laughs> Man, them dudes is up in the ante right now. Woo. Now the Celtics throwing haymakers, and they lead by 18 in the blink of an eye at 69-51. Final 30 seconds. Sasser steps to his left, misses the three, and the rebound is going to result in a loose ball foul against the Celtics. 
who were trailing earlier in the quarter and were about to have a chance to take a 20-point lead. Brown was about to come out of this game. Second foul here on Porzingis. And the Celtics had a foul to give, so no free throws here. The Celtics have a chance to take a 20-point lead for the 15th time in the last 17 games. And could they do it in the same quarter in which they trailed? Interesting, Tillman. Oh, come on. Delay of game warning because Joe Mazzullo is trying to get Xavier Tillman in the game. Couldn't do it. Why is that a delay? Whatever. <laughs> Cunningham. What up? Eight of the shot clock. Zips the entry. Caught by Wiseman. Spins back to his right. Goes to the left hand and scores. Wiseman has been really good. Effective. Wiseman's got 18. He is 8 of 9 for the rest of the Pistons. 17 of 36. 13 of 36. Derek White. Right hand dribble. Hand to Pritchard. Five seconds to go in the half. Pritchard splits two men. Drives. Kicks to the corner. Hauser. Three. No good. And the rebound for Evan Fournier. And that is how the first half will come to an end. So the Celtics trail this game midway through the second quarter. They'll take a 16-point lead to the halftime locker room. Coming up, Sean Silver will help score from around the NBA. Don't give me that look. I'm not responsible for what they do. Sean Silver's got scores from around the NBA and that little tournament thing going on. Hockey, the top two teams in college hockey, BC and BU, both in action in the hockey semifinals. Are they going to meet tomorrow night for the late championship? A lot going on. One of the greatest weekends of the year. Celtics lead the Pistons 69-53. It's halftime at Little Caesars on the Ben MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Backstagecountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Lainey Wilson is on a roll. She's delivering great music and teaming up with some of country's hottest acts. Text Lainey to 45911 to see which four Lainey Wilson collabs have us talking at BackstageCountry.com. Text Lainey to 45911 to get a link to the list sent right to your phone from BackstageCountry.com. 103 degrees? How could I find a doctor when I'm literally hallucinating a fever monster? You talking about me? Oh no, it talks. Find and book a doc on ZocDoc. Search by availability, specialty, location, and read reviews from real patients. Whoa, it says here that Dr. Brooks is a great listener and takes my insurance. You know what? I'm glad I hallucinated you. Aw, you've got more options than you know. Go to ZocDoc.com slash music or get the free app to book today. The games play here. Here's Vieno. He'll scramble in. Feet to the high slot. Carlson sent it out in front. Vieno a shot. And that tip denied by Omar, who scrambled left to right. Bruins crash to the front. Left to the net. Coil out in front. Cass Gibson out of position. He scores! Charlie Coyle with a dangle. Sneaks it inside the near post with Gibson down and out. Bruins 7, Ducks 1. You're listening to 98.5 The Sports Hub. Stay tuned for more. Felger and Maz, afternoons 2 to 6 on The Sports Hub. 21-5 is the closing run here for the Celtics. Another bad pass deflected by Porzingis, and the Celtics have another steal. Derek White, skip pass into the corner. Pressure and open three. Got it! <laughs> Man, them dudes is up in the ante right now. Woo! Now the Celtics throw in haymakers, and they lead by 18 in the blink of an eye at 69-51. Welcome into our Waltham Studios. I'm Sean Silver with your Celtics halftime. The score at the midway point of this one, 69-53, down to 16 points. But the C is definitely settling down after a hot first quarter for Detroit. As they say, water finds its level, right? Celtics down some starters tonight. Tatum, Horford, Holiday. Pistons down in a lot of ways in the standings. Got some recent injuries, but they're not out. And they were in this one for the bulk of the first half till the Celtics won on that run to kind of establish their dominance. Uh, first quarter of this one described by Sean Grandy as frenetic, and I wouldn't disagree with him. 
uh, based on the play that I was seeing out on the court. Celtics getting after it early. Handling the point here, bad pass. Jalen Brown jumps the passing lane in front of Cade Cunningham. Little finger roll lays it up and in. Back to back buckets for Jalen Brown. He's starting to dominate here. He's got eight, and the Celtics are taking a lead 25 23. It's a 9 to 2 Boston run. But he read that pass all the way. And Brown did start hot, locked in with 10 points on 5 of 6 shooting in the opening 12 minutes. James Wiseman, 12 points and 5 boards in the opening frame for Detroit. Both teams shooting at around 57% right out of the shoot. Celtics down 2 to the Pistons, surprisingly. After one second quarter, however, feeling a little bit more like a late March game against the Pistons as Scal catches a stray in this one. 10 lead changes, 8 ties early, pressure, deep in the paint, step back on Brown, and it bounces. Yes, in. yes, yes, yes. What? No. I, I, I don't know, keep doing that, maybe you'll get, keep cheering, maybe you'll get the TV show. <laughs> Payton Pritchard with 16 points in the first half, 6 of 9 shooting, 4 of 6 from downtown, he's really been lighting it up of late, 7 assists as well. He's uh, tied for the team lead with Jalen Brown right here with 16 points apiece for those guys. As we mentioned, the Celtics with the 69-53 lead. So let's go inside the rest of the box score here. Celtics shooting it at 55% in the first half. They were 9-23 of for downtown. That's a 39% clip. 12 of 18 at the line, including a couple of misses from Jalen Brown. Uh, as free throws continue to be a bugaboo for him. The uh, Pistons shoot it at 47%, so they cool off from that hot start. 5 of 19 from deep, that's a 26% clip. 6 of 7 at the line, not as busy getting to the charity stripe as the Celtics. Detroit with the rebounding lead, 23-19. James Wiseman pulling down 7 boards, a game high. Derek White, the team high, 5 for Boston. Celtics have dished out 15 assists to Detroit's 13 dimes. As we mentioned, Pritchard, the game high there with seven. Kate Cunningham has five for Detroit. In terms of taking care of the basketball, Celtics doing much better. Just three turnovers to the Pistons' seven. Your top scorers, Pritchard and Brown with 16 apiece for Boston. But James Wiseman is the leading scorer with the 18 points, as we mentioned, on eight out of nine shooting and two of two from the line they've also got cunningham in double figures with 11 points on just four of 12 from the field celtics get 11 from sam hauser he's three of eight from downtown really been letting him fly in a reserve role here 16 minutes played in the first half 10 points for Derek white to go along with those five rebounds and two assists xavier tillman got the start tonight played just eight minutes of the first quarter scoreless and it seemed like uh, joe mazzula was pretty upset with him when he was pulled there so we haven't seen much Tillman since then O'Shea Brissett getting some minutes tonight Svee getting some minutes it's uh it's one of those nights here as the Celtics have the 69-53 lead over the Pistons here at the midway point I'm Sean Silver with the headlines coming up then we'll send it back to Grandia Max for the call of the second half here on the BetMGM 98.5 the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network so you've got an idea for a business the store of your dreams there's just one thing to figure out everything. That's why Shopify's all-in-one commerce platform makes it easy to sell online, in person, and everywhere else. Sell on social media, source products with an app to get that first sale feeling. It's the only solution that gives you everything you need to sell everywhere you want. So when you're ready to bring your idea to life, power it up with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. 
At UMass Memorial Health, you can be a nurse, mental health clinician, medical assistant, but you can also be a after hours musician, family chef, t-ball coach. That's because we hire you, all of you, and treat you like a person, not a position. With great pay and excellent benefits, like retirement savings plans and tuition assistance. Come be you at UMass Memorial Health. Explore all we offer at wehireyou.org. Are you interested in owning a short-term rental? Analyze easier, invest wiser, and list smarter with AirDNA by your side. The trusted advisor for hosting and investing. Launch your journey at airdna.co today. Spring is just around the corner, and there's still time to upgrade your equipment with the latest technology from Ag Leader. From SureForce Downforce Control to Sure Drive Electric Drives for your planter to Right Spot Nozzle by Nozzle Control for your sprayer, Ag Leader has you covered for all your field work. Upgrade now and take advantage of our limited time offers, including special financing on Sure Drive and Sure Force or a per nozzle discount on Right Spot. Contact your local Ag Leader dealer to learn more and reap the benefits this spring. The home of the bees, the Sports Hub. Sports Hub Headlines. Scoreboards from around the league brought to you by Town Fair Tire. For the guaranteed lowest prices on tires, go to Town Fair Tire because nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody in the NBA tonight. Thunder with a 63-56 lead over the Raptors at the half. Chet Holmgren, Shade Gilgis, Alexander, each with a dozen apiece. As far as the Pelicans and Heat, Cavs and T-Wolves, Grizzlies and Spurs, all of those are just underway. Pacers and Warriors, Clippers, Trailblazers, 76ers, Lakers, all to follow later on in this one. Men's college basketball in progress. We got Texas a and with a 14-point lead over Nebraska at the half. Duke up 34-29 over Vermont. Purdue 15-8 over Grambling in the first half. Earlier in the day, number 13 seed Yale. 13 seed Yale upset Auburn. 10 seed Colorado got by Florida, UConn, Marquette, Baylor, Clemson, and Northwestern. And San Diego State also winners. Hockey East tournament over at TD Garden tonight. BC hammered UMass 8-1 in the first game. BU leads Maine after 1-1-0 one, one in the nightcap. Red Sox set their starting rotation. Bayo, Pavetta, Crawford, Whitlock, and Hauk. Revs at home tomorrow against Chicago. Bruins taking on Philadelphia tomorrow at 1. It's savings madness at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Visit NewEnglandOilChange.com for 15% off your next oil change at Valvoline Instant Oil Change. I'm Sean Silver with the Celtics up 16 over Detroit at the half. Sean Grady and Cedric Maxwell we call the second half. Coming up on the 98.5 of the Sports Hub at MGM Celtics Radio Network. BackstageCountry.com, your online home for all things country music. <laughs> Wondering who made our list of the top five all-time queens of country music? Did Carrie Underwood make the cut? Find out now when you text Queens to 45911 and scroll through the list on BackstageCountry.com. Text Queens to 45911 to see the talented artists who rounded out our top five list. Don't you love an extra $100 in your pocket? Have a TurboTax expert file your taxes for you by March 31st to get $100 back instantly. Because no matter what moves you made last year, TurboTax makes them count. That means getting $100 back and 100% accurate taxes only from Intuit TurboTax. Must file by 331. Credit only applicable to federal filing fees with TurboTax full service. Offer can be modified or terminated at any time. The games play here. To the left corner. Great, she's got it. Right circle, Pasternak fires, he scores! David Pasternak! Jones under center, a give to Stevenson, runs it through the right side. Go! Bounces outside the 20, goodbye. To the 10, to the 5, end zone bound! Patriots take the lead! Touchdown, New England! Big, big, two! You're two, listening to 98.5 The Sports Hub. Stay tuned for more. The Bedroom. Guys, that's one place it's better to do things the hard way. The easy part for guys is BlueChew.com. At BlueChew.com, get chewables with the same active ingredients as Viagra or Cialis, but cheaper. Medical consultation, but no doctor's office. Prescriptions, but no pharmacy visit. Try a free month for just 5 bucks shipping using promo code YES at BlueChew.com. Confidence delivered. BlueChew.com. Promo code YES. The easy way to do it the hard way. 
Connect with Boston's home for sports online. 98.5 thesportshub.com. This is Reliving the Green. What a bat by DJ. 42 for Paul Pierce. A three-pointer for Danny A. KG is locked and loaded tonight. A look back at this date in Celtics history. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in a tradition that has great generations of Celtics, another number goes to the Raptors. And I hope he will finally get to rest in peace. A really big day, one of the final games ever at Boston Garden took place 29 years ago today when Reggie Lewis, his number 35, was retired and raised to the rafters nearly two years after his death. That was combined with the fact it was also Michael Jordan's first game back playing for Chicago when he came out of retirement at the end of that 94-95 season after a year and a half away. I mean, you always think about Celtic history. What could have oh, been man. when you start thinking about that and then you start thinking about Len Bias and Len Bias, what would have happened if he had played. I mean, it's just, yeah, but but that's history. That's that's just how things work. A lot of you are aware they are putting together a voluminous Celtics documentary. And I just did my interviews this week and talking about the day that we lost Reggie Lewis in July of 1993. Second half begins with the Celtics going left to right. Double road uniforms tonight. Detroit in black. The orange trim. Celtics in the green. Jalen Brown pull up three is no good. Just his second miss. Ivy has the rebound. A great finish to the second quarter for the Celtics. who lead by 16. 69 to 53. Jade Cunningham. Bounce pass for Troy Brown on the right side. Wiseman is 8 of 9. Jalen Brown 8 of 10. Ivy steps to his right. Falls away at 12 feet. Switch. That was a very good play. And the very deliberate as they came off that pick then. Peyton, Peyton wasn't able to get through. Peyton Pritchard was 16, and Jalen Brown was 16 in the first half. Derek White, right-hand dribble, over the shoulder pass. Porzingis lines up that straightaway three and drills it. He's not going to keep missing those. I mean, those are shots he had early on, didn't make them. And you just can't, the Pistons can't make threes, and they can't keep pace as a result. That's 10 for Boston, just 5 for Detroit. That's the difference in the game right now. Celtics by 17. Ivy spinning, hands to Wiseman at the free throw line. Porzingis in front of him, and they're blowing the play down, traveling. Oh. Yeah, Wiseman kind of spun around and shifted his feet. Yeah, he's trying to get that pivot foot, trying to get together. He likes to say, it feels like that 20-point lead coming soon. Pritchard, cross-court Derek White behind the Porzingis screen. White shuttles back to Porzingis, up fakes the three, puts it to the floor once, hand to Derek White. White turns the corner, spins, kick to the right corner. Jalen Brown waiting. He's going to drive with five and a shot clock. Goes to the left hand and scores. He too, is doing it all right now. Too strong getting where he wants to go easily. Austin by 19. Cade Cunningham dribbles to the elbow. Up fake on Porzingis. Throws to the left corner. Your Walmart lines up the three. Comes up short. Pritchard has the rebound. Celtics by 19. Pritchard driving on Brown. Gets in deep. Wow. Stops on a dime and scores off the glass. And there's your 20-point lead again. Hey, Pritchard just being a, a bulldog. Getting in against the big boys. Just laying it up. Cunningham kicks to the corner. Ivy's three. Going to come up short. And the rebound hit the top of the backboard. So that'll bring the whistle. It does seem like... Joe Mazzulla is another gear right. Ooh. Three from the right side. Porzingis no good. And Detroit is the rebound. And a little foul on Bissett here, pushing off. Hmm. But that's all. There's no harm, no foul there. Fifteen 20 point leads in the last 17 games. I just tweeted that out. Did you? Ivy falling way to his left, scores off the window. 76-57. Jalen Brown for Derek White. Left-hand dribble coming strong, and he is fouled with a reach in on his drive to the basket. You're saying two shots. It can't be to the side, young man. If he's going up with the basketball, he gets two, two free throws. Everybody's having a little bit of trouble right now with their calls. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Joe Mazzulli. That's another, there's the, the something going on. There's a little bit of a, 
like somebody stole some honey and took some honey out of his tea. People missed it. Tell everyone about your conversation with Joe Mazzulli. You talked about it on your podcast. We covered it on Monday, but people might have missed it. Um, Joe Mazzulli just said, hey, I would do. He was walking around before the game. I was there about four or five hours early. Yeah, Sean, getting a check. And um, I know you want to know that. And he was sitting around. He was just walking through it. He said, uh, I'll do anything to win a championship here. Left side three for Troy Brown. No good. Derek White deflects the rebound of Porzingis. Celtics by 21, 78-57 on the ball. Porzingis up fakes the three, puts it to the floor, drives in deep, runs it up with the right hand, no good. Bill Mazzulla wanted a foul, didn't get it. Uwoma saves it back into the court and into the hands of Troy Brown. Brown dribbles behind his back. Lead pass on the left side. Ivy has a good look. Late challenge by Derek White. He's too late. Ivy knocks down a three. 78-60. Trying to process that 20-point lead number 16 times in 18 games. Porzingis catches, starts to drive. Wiseman takes the paint away, so a dribble handoff for Brissett. Now Derek White enters for Brissett, who cuts in behind Troy Brown. Two-hand slam. Boy, they ran that perfectly. Oh, got that cutter just floating down the lane there. 80 to 60. Celtics by 20. Again, Cade Cunningham. Left-hand dribble to the free throw line. Soft little jumper's good. 80 to 62. Boston by 18. 8.03 to go in the third. So they're trying to win their eighth straight game. Pritchard driving past Troy Brown, scores with the right hand. Too laid easy. It, laid it up quickly. And he's getting more and more confident about where he can go. Another 20 point game for Pritchard. Ivy drives around him, but challenged by Porzingis. He misses the layup. Offensive rebound. Wiseman steps to his right and throws it down with two hands. Wiseman has been spot on on the glass today. 82-64. Jalen catches right side, cranks up the three, and calmly knocks it down. Timeout, Monty Williams. Well, he can't deal with Jalen Brown right now. 21 points in 22 minutes. And the Celtics, again, for the 16th time in 18 games, have a 20-point lead. 7.31 to go in the third. Boston 85, Detroit 64. On the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics radio network. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. There are giants among us. They are the men and women building and sustaining our Navy's next generation submarines. If you're ready to go big, get on board. We build giants at buildsubmarines.com. Celtics play here at the Sports Hub. Catches law to England's injury attorney since 1986. They've won over $2 billion for their clients. That seems like a lot. When you're injured and can't work, turn to Catches Law. No fee unless you win. Go to CatchesLaw.com to schedule your free consultation. Today, Celtics in command here, leading 85-64. 12 minutes ago in this game, they trailed by one. They've outscored Detroit 40-18 in the 12 minutes since. They take this big lead, looking for their eighth consecutive win. And bring their magic number down to two to clinch the top seed in the Eastern Conference. 
12 games left after tonight. Wiseman. Layoffs will be here before you know it. Wow. Cunningham jump pass into the corner. Uwoma bounce pass in the paint. Wiseman catches, goes to that left hand, shoved off his spot, gets fouled, and Wiseman will shoot free throws. You watch James Wiseman tonight, and you see the player that was drafted second overall. But then you wonder why Golden State gave up on him. I mean, because Looney, what he does, he's in the paint. It seemed like he could do what Looney could do, do it better. Maybe he just needs to start. <laughs> this is his first start of the year. The Celtics and Pistons have played twice this year, and Detroit has started in three of the ten spots, players that have not started before, either for them or in the NBA. He misses both free throws, though, as soon as we praised him. And the Celtics have a 21-point lead and the ball with 7.07 to go into third. Jalen Brown, deep straight away. Here comes Pritchard off the screen. Drive kick back to Derek White. Good look at a right side three, but he misses it off the back iron. And the rebound, Wiseman saves it. And the bounce pass lead from Jaden Ivey to Cunningham. Cunningham, right hand dribble to the top of the circle. His jumper is short, and the rebound for Jalen Brown. That's a like a layup for him. He, he's almost something a little too smooth about his game. Jalen Brown, tricky dribble between the legs, step back on Ivey, and he drills another three. Jalen Brown is playing a level above everybody else on the floor right now. He is 11 of 13, 88 to 64. Derek White knocked down on a Cunningham drive offensive foul. Let me see. Let me see. Let's go back to Eddie Murphy. Bit he did. I'm Gumby. I'm Gumby, damn it. That's how was what he's playing like. He's all Gumby. The, all he's all world. To mention Eddie Murphy, where he originated arguably the greatest cinematic Law enforcement officer of all time, and Axel Foley here in Detroit. You give him that? You give him that over Shaft? John Shaft? What? It's tough. It's generational. Jalen Brown bounce pass out for Porzingis straight away. Puts it to the floor, driving strong. Porzingis goes high off the window, no good. Gets his own rebound and throws it back up and in. He wanted the end one, didn't get it. But the Celtics now have a 26-point lead out of nowhere. Yeah. They trailed this game midway through the second quarter. Now midway through the third, they're up by 26. Yuoma open in the left corner, misses the three, it's flat. Rebound, Hauser, you just can't stay with the Celtics if you can't shoot threes. Detroit 6 of 24, Celtics 12 of 29. Jalen Brown fumbles his dribble, there's a turnover. Cunningham rips it away, goes the distance, and flushes hard with the right hand. Ends the latest 8-0 run for the Celtics. 90 to 66. Pritchard. For Porzingis, driving on your woman, stops at the elbow, aims that jumper and knocks it down. You say, you know what? I'm going where I want to go, man. Yeah, slow start. Porzingis up to 15 now. Cunningham turns the corner, skip pass into the left corner. Your woman lines up that three and finally knocks one down. He had missed his first three shots tonight. He is a great story. Grew up in the UK. Oh, guys playing with goggles. I've seen a lot of that over the years. The guys who got so used to it, they didn't want to give it up. Porzingis hand back to Jalen Brown. He misses the three, but he got knocked down. Oh, that was late. It was a late foul call. It, that, that, that couldn't. And you, he'll get, he'll get, he's going to get three shots, but man, that was all day. No, it's going to be on the side. How can it be on the side? That's a great you? question, but. Moses Dagger immediately said, this is going to be on the side. It was almost as if the shot was released, and then the follow-through had nothing to do with the shot. Yeah, the follow -through, I, I, I'm, not, I'm just telling you what he said. How many times just, you and I talked about the follow-through when the guy takes a jump shot? Jalen Brown over the shoulder pass. Pritchard left corner three. No good. Rebound. Slapped in the air by Luke Cornett. Pinballs around. Uoma had it. Dropped it. Picked off the floor by Ivy. Ivy into the front court. Jalen Brown backs away from him, and Ivy knocks down the short jump. So it was 7-2. Gallup here for Detroit. Jalen turns, drives, scoops to the right hand. No good, but he's fouled. And it's almost as if everybody else is going a little bit in slow motion, and Jalen is at full speed. Going where he wants to go. Turning the Jets on, getting to the uh -oh. That's it. free throw line. He missed two more earlier tonight, so he has dropped down to 70%, and he misses again. And at what point does this go from something a little off to becoming a real problem? Now. 
And it's at that point where it's it's now because every time you miss a free throw in the playoffs, I mean, teams just gasp. Jalen ends the run by making that last free throw. He missed the first three tonight. 93-71. Boston by 22. 426 to go in the third. Abe Cunningham enters in deep to Metsu. He just dropped it out of bounds. He was so concerned about how he was going to drive on Cornette. He didn't like Pop Warner football. Look the ball into his hands. Man, just the, the way the Southerns have done it here. It's been like Kofi's pocus. It's like, okay, we're, we're tied, and now we're ahead. We've seen so many of these games where teams stay with the Celtics for a quarter, a quarter and a half. Jalen starts his drive on the right side. Fournier steps in front of him. And Jalen throws that right shoulder into Fournier, dribbling with his left. Here comes the double team. Kick out. Pritchard, five on the shot clock. Steps into a right side three. Short front iron. And the rebound belongs to Detroit. Coming here. Out of the pack. Up the middle of the floor. Switches to the left hand. Glides around Jalen Brown. First pass to the wing. Yawoma drives in traffic. Scoops it up. Just spiked down. Out of bounds by Luke Cornett. It'll be Detroit ball with 15 to shoot. Monty Williams going to get Sasser back in the game here. He made his first career start in Boston on Monday night. Cade Cunningham will come out. Cunningham 15 points on 15 shots. Five rebounds, six assists. Well, you know what? Monty Williams has gone through death of his wife. And he's had some, had some tough stuff go for him. The Suns looked like they were rolling, and they suffered that horrific Game 7 home loss to Dallas a couple of years ago. Ivy trying to shake off Cornette. Drive, scoops to the left hand and scores. It went under the shoulder. You can see these moments from Cunningham and Ivy. They're going to be here a long time. 93-73, Boston by 20. Jalen Brown steps to his left. Fournier in front of him. He moves it to Cornette. Puts it back to Jalen. Turns the corner. Goes over the shoulder and throws it about a foot over the head of Xavier Tillman out of bounds. Xavier Tillman isn't exactly the guy I want standing in the corner for the threes. So I'll ask you a question here about Tillman who we saw playing the I'll tell you why I was disappointed in some of the matchups on Wednesday that we didn't get to see. Sasser moves to the 48 left side. Here's the entry. Matsu against Cornette. Right hand dribble goes to the right hand flip shot and scores. And Joe Mazzula, see if he's going to stop this thing here. A 9 to 1 run here for Detroit. Lead is down to 18. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Jalen Brown. Switches in the left hand, pushes Fournier away, spins on him, scores off the window, and the foul. Luke Cornett set up the old Daniel Tice seal, and Jalen will be at the free throw line, and we'll have that Tillman conversation when we return. 2.54 to go. Third quarter at Little Caesars, Boston 95, Detroit 75, on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig. A true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. There are giants among us. And their impact is huge. They are the men and women building and sustaining our Navy's next generation submarines. They are giants in what they do because they work in a place where they can grow, where they can learn the skills to build careers as powerful as the beasts they forge. If you're ready to go big, get on board. We build giants at buildsubmarines.com. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you, with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. When it comes to beautiful lawns, nothing cuts like a Gravely zero-turn mower. And when it comes to cutting prices, there's nothing like Gravely's Mow the Distance sales event starting Wednesday, where you'll save up to 25% with special financing available on America's most rugged and dependable mowers. You can count on more comfort, more speed, and more precision with a Gravely. The Mow the Distance sales event starting Wednesday and only at your authorized Gravely dealer. 
If you like being watched 24-7, then Big Brother wants you. Join Channel 3 at Foxwoods for a Big Brother open casting call on Wednesday, April 3rd from 2 to 6 p.m. Let's play Big Brother. Go to WFSB.com to learn the sports hub. Listen live. Check out our podcast with the 98.5 The Sports Hub app. Celtics fans, you can score five cents off per gallon with GoPay. Download the GoPay app today for the fast and convenient way to pay at the pump. Go proud to be the official fuel partner of the Boston Celtics. See app for details. Jalen Brown, two in a row from the free throw line. Three-point play. He's got 28. Celtics have a 21-point lead here late in the third. Metu off the drop step. Had a clean run to the basket, and he just dropped the basketball. Turned it over. Jalen comes the other way. His three bounces in, and the Celtics have the lead back to 24. Wow, that's crazy. He was trying to challenge for a dunk there. Jalen's got 31. He has been dominant from the time this game started. Sasser pushes it back into left corner. Uoma knocks down another three. He's hit three in a row. Seventh for the Pistons. Celtics have knocked down 13. Four of them for Peyton Pritchard. Three apiece for Hauser and Jalen Brown. 99-78. Boston by 21. Jalen steps to his left. His three. Rims out. Rebound. Cornett got a hand on it. And loose ball foul called by Cornett. So this is what I was saying earlier. Obviously, Milwaukee didn't have the honesty of tonight. What I was really curious about, when you look ahead to a potential playoff series, Brent Williams played a lot of those minutes against Giannis as a big body defender. Mm -hmm. Could Tillman fill that role Tillman, in the playoff series? Tillman might have to. He has the, he has the strength, but the quickness has to go to Giannis. Roden enters to Sasser, flips it up for the mid block, awkward shot, no good, and Tillman grabs his first rebound, or his third rebound. He has not yet scored in this game. Derek White. Right hand dribble drive into the paint, switches, flips to the right hand, that bounces out, offensive rebound, Cornette. Tillman flies in, pounces on the loose ball, throws it out towards Hauser, but it's picked off by Fournier. Fournier moves it ahead to Iwomo, who lays it in. So a good finish to the third quarter for Detroit. 14 to 7. The shave seven points off the deficit. They're down by 19 now, 99-80 with a minute 17 to go in the third if you're sticking up a TV. Cornette. And a Derek White return to Cornett, spinning at the free throw line, kick out Hauser. He jumps to his left, takes a three on the move and hits it. And that's Sam Hauser this year versus last year. Yeah, you know, before he had to be a standstill jump shooter. Now catches it and able to make a couple of moves to get his shot and get himself in the rhythm. And again, the Celtics score 100 with a minute to go in the third quarter. Jalen Brown reaches in on Sasser and they call the foul. Jalen's not making a big deal. He's laughing as he argues, but he thought he got that clean. The smile of Jalen Brown Crazy, isn't it? can brighten up a room. But normally what you see is the, 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 the scowl, the Robert Perry's look. But you know, you know who gets credit for that. Or Zing! No yes. He's done the impossible. He's turned Jalen Brown into a happy guy out there. 102.80. No, it cannot be wait understated. Minute, what, 300 million doesn't make it happen? That, I mean, you got that to go home to. You can smile off the court about that. Sasser steps to his left away from Tillman and knocks down a three. Good finish to the third quarter for Detroit. Unfortunately, they had dug themselves a 26-point hole before they got going. It's a 19-point game right now. Two for one for the Celtics with 39 seconds to go in the third quarter. Jalen Brown challenged by Sasser. Keeps him at bay with the right hand. Left hand dribble. 48 in front of him. Jalen pulls up free throw line. Contact shot. Bounces out. He is so strong. That the contact from 48 did not even affect the shot that much. You just went right through the arms. I mean, you're that strong and all that weight lifting you do. He's so able to still get his arms up and the contact, the arm, the foul. Just missed the jump shot there. Celtics playing tonight without Tatum, Holiday, and Horford, and they still have three 30 point quarters here. And Jalen bounces in a free throw. Every one of these is an adventure right now. He is. It's. He is Superman, and this is his kryptonite right now. Everything else, he is dominating, and he walks to the free throw line, and the uncertainty creeps in. Second one, right down the middle. It's getting better. 104-83, a 33-point night for Jalen Brown. And you wonder if he's going to play tomorrow or not. You might as well keep him out there. Spinning, Wiseman, forced into another travel. Seen a couple of those from Wiseman here. Tillman and Hauser charged at him from opposite sides. And and Wiseman turns it over again. Here's the other thing. Give the ball back. A little surprised. Oh, okay. I thought Hauser was coming out, but you're not bringing 
Mahalik in this game to shoot it. So you can get this ball down as fast as you can. 21 seconds to go. She's going to give a good look here. Jalen Brown against Fournier. Eight seconds to go. Jalen switches to the left hand, draws the double team, long cross court pass. Hauser in the corner, three, no good. And the rebound belongs to Metu, and that's how the third quarter will come to an end. Celtics trailed by one, believe it or not, at the end of one. They led by 16 at halftime. They're up by 21 as we make the turn for home. End of three at Little Caesars, Boston 104, Detroit 83 on the Bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. There are giants among us. They are the men and women building and sustaining our Navy's next generation submarines. If you're ready to go big, get on board. We build giants at buildsubmarines.com. The Honda you want is here. Now's the perfect time to drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Passport or Ridgeline and a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Pilot. See dealer for financing details. When it comes to beautiful lawns, nothing cuts like a Gravely zero-turn mower. And there's nothing like Gravely's Mow the Distance sales event starting Wednesday. Save up to 25% with special financing available only at your local Gravely dealer. The bedroom. Guys, that's one place it's better to do things the hard way. The easy part for guys is BlueChew.com. At BlueChew.com, get chewables with the same active ingredients as Viagra or Cialis, but cheaper. Medical consultation, but no doctor's office. Prescriptions, but no pharmacy visit. Try a free month for just 5 bucks shipping using promo code YES at BlueChew.com. Confidence delivered. BlueChew.com. Promo code YES. The easy way to do it the hard way. The home of the Rivs, the Sports Hub. Spectacular night for Jalen Brown. 33 points to three quarters. Silvers to take a 104-83 lead to the fourth here in Detroit. Parents nominate your child to be the Wendy's Junior Broadcaster. One lucky child will score tickets. Pre-game meet and greet with Max and me. Autograph team merchandise and cool Wendy's swag. Is there any other kind? Enter now at 98.5 the sports hub.com. Celtics 12 minutes away from going 42 games over 500. Heading into Chicago tomorrow night for their fifth game in seven nights. Could the Celtics sweep the five game and seven night stretch? Wiseman, hands off. Kick to the corner from Sasser to Metsu is three, barely touches the iron and the rebound of the weak side for Derek White. Derek White's got 12, seven and seven. White tries to turn the corner. He got stripped clean by Roden. Roden goes the distance and slams it home. It's a play down by Peyton Pritchett, not the going foul. You don't want to compact this. Just the seventh turnover for the Celtics. 22-10 points off turnovers in favor of Boston. Derek White lobs it for Cornette. Two-hand slam. So I'm at the corner of his eye and just threw the basketball up. Nobody's with it. Eight assists apiece for Peyton Pritchard and Derek White. 106-85. Sasser in the free throw line. Wiseman cranks up that jumper. Comes up short. And Pritchard has his second rebound. That is not in his career. Pritchard. Right side of the floor, long cross court. Derek White, deep three, front iron, no good. Not but a good shooting night for Derek White, just two for ten. Wiseman standing on a three point line, hand of 48. 48 cross court deflected by Mihailik, but 48 has it back. 48 leans in and banks it home from 12 feet away. That was the closest I've come in years to calling a hockey play. 48 and Mihailik and a deflection. 106 87. Derek White spins to his left behind the cornet screen, gets to the left elbow, and his jumper is good. I love when Derek White's having a bad shooting night. He just keeps shooting if it's the right shot. Well, if, if it's his look and he takes the shot, 
even if he misses it, somebody can get there and rebound it. 14, 7, and 8 for Derek White. 48 turns the corner, floats it up, and in. Evan Fournier, this forgotten run he had at the end of that 2021 season with the Celtics. He played very well after the trade deadline. When Orlando broke up their big three with Gordon Busevich and Evan Fournier. We'll see Busevich tomorrow night in Chicago. Ball knocked out of bounds. Celtics will keep it with 9.54 to go. Their lead is 19 right now, 108 to 89 as Porzingis returns. You can just tell by the sub patterns who's not going to play tomorrow night. I mean, you can just tell right now Horford and Tatum will come back. Porzingis will likely sit. Jalen Brown, it wouldn't surprise me if he sat tomorrow night in Chicago. And the Bulls, very much a possibility for the Celtics in the first round. They'll have to win the game in the play in. Porzingis for Derek White. He attacks. Kick out Tillman. Pretty good look. Right side three. Rims out. Rebound. Paul Pritchard tried to steal one of those offensive rebounds. Didn't come up with it. And now Roden brings the Pistons into the front court. Tillman slows him down to the handoff to Sasson. Sasson down the right side. Kicks to the corner, a little tucks out from Metu to Roden. He puts it to the floor, drives to the free throw line. His jumper's good. Good challenge at the end of that. Well, the Pistons, they put together a nice seven, eight minute stretch here. Problem is, they dug themselves a 26 point hole. So now they're down by 17. 9 11 to go. Derek White, long cross court, pressure is open. Right side three, rims out. Hit front and back iron and then popped out. Here comes Roden. Driving in deep, fumbles it. He's dropping out of bounds, he did. 14 turnovers for Detroit, many of the unforced variety. Right off his foot. This time got all the way to the hole. Action here, they're looking like a kick and pop. I think this would be trying to get Porzingis going towards the basket. Derek White, rounded by Sasser, gets a little Tillman screen, dribbles to the free throw line, pump fake, tries to step through. Shows out to Porzingis, deep three, no good, long rebound, Roden's got it. Boy, Monty Williams on a travel call on Porzingis there. Good half, right? The Pistons score here. I wouldn't be surprised to see Joe Mazzulla call timeout here pretty soon. He's not been smooth with Jalen Brown out of the game tonight. Sasser pull up on Tillman, 17-footer, no good. Offensive rebound, Wiseman, he's fouled on the floor. Making Porzingis, that's five fouls on him now. Mm. I'm gonna take him out of his basket again. Right, Luke Cornett gonna have to come back in. Inbound to Wiseman. This is trying to climb back in this game here. They're within 17 now after trailing by 26. 40. Turns the corner and muscles it up again. Same spot, same result. About 10 feet away. He just aims on that little flip shot. Fournier now with six straight points off the Detroit bench. 108-93. Boston lead is down to 15. They lost 11 points off this lead. This after losing 18 points off the lead late against Milwaukee on Wednesday. Pritchard spinning into a double team. Kick to the corner. Derek White rises into a three. As soon as you throw it low to him, maybe to catch that basketball off the top of his shoelaces and knock it down. First three for Derek White tonight in seven tries. He got 17.7 rebounds, eight assists. That's the ninth assist for Peyton Pritchard, by the way. 48, right side three, no good. Rebound, Tillman's got it. Keeps it away from Metu. And Joe Mazzulli. Joe Mazzulli. yeah, that timeout has been coming for a while. He'll grab it here with 7.38 to go in the lead at 18. Boston 111, Detroit 93 on the Ben MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. The Honda you want is here. Now is the perfect time to drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Passport or Ridgeline and a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Pilot. See dealer for financing details. D'Angelo is proud to introduce our newest grill sensation, the Ballpark Sandwich. Premium grilled Italian sausage, peppers, and onions on a freshly baked roll, sizzling hot off the grill. Starting at just $9.99. That's $9.99. It's a home run for your taste buds. Discover the new ballpark sandwich exclusively at D'Angelo. Stop in or order yours now at D'Angelo's.com. D'Angelo, New England's neighborhood sandwich shop. 
When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. No two people are the same. Each may have the same cancer, yet each may need a different treatment. At Dana-Farber Brigham Cancer Center, we're specialists. All we do is cancer. Our personalized approach gives us a deeper understanding of your needs and how to get you well. For an appointment in Boston, Foxborough, Milford, or South Shore, contact DanaFarberBrigham.org. We specialize in cancer and you. The only place to hear the game, the Sports Hub. Celtic fans can score five cents off Port Gallon with GoPay. Download the GoPay app today for the fast and convenient way to pay at the pump. Golf is proud to be an official field partner of the Boston Celtics. See app for details and dance contest going on, which is the less than sellout crowd here in Detroit is enjoying every minute. Attendance brought to you by Ticketmaster. Join the crowd of excitement at a future Celtics game by ordering your ticket at Ticketmaster.com. And we can talk about the Celtics' place being clinched. But some great teams coming in, some really fun matchups. The rest of the way with these home games in April, Oklahoma City is coming in. National TV game against the Knicks. That's going to be significant. Excited to see Mike Gorman and Grant Williams together. And Charlie comes in. I don't think it's been announced yet, but obviously it's going to be Mike Gorman Day on the final day of the season. Xavier Tillman, baseline extended. Metsu punching at the ball. Kick out Pritchard. Got by Fournier. Pritchard drives with that right hand. Feels some contact. Throws it up. No good. Looked like he got hit. Fournier got away with one here. Pistons with the ball. Trailing by 18. 7 11 to go. And Joe Mazzula would like not to have to bring Jalen Brown back in this game. Wiseman. The best games he's had as a Piston. Calls for Metsu to come get it. He does. He's behind the line, so he cranks up that three. It's a boulder wide right, and Pritchard deflects the rebound to Luke Cornett. Selzlick's looking to regain a 20-point lead here with 6.51 to go. Derek White. Moving to his left. Cornett sets the screen. White. We're patrolling inside the free throw line. Feels contact. Throws it up. No good. That is back-to-back -back possession. Selzlick's felt they got hit and just letting everything go here. Metsu for 48. Turns the corner. Oh, Mihailik got hit by Metsu. That's got to be a moving screen. And another Detroit turnover. Very, very seldom you hear Derek White in that situation complain as he got hit on the hand trying to go up with a jump shot. So I the last two times down, same exact play, slapping down on the hand, and Detroit doesn't get called for it. And then when you do that, essentially the next guy is going to try to get away with it, and the next guy is going to try to get away with it. Celtics trying to drop their magic number at the east to two, and overall to five. On OKC for home court advantage throughout the playoffs. OKC with an eight-point lead at Toronto with 6-12 to go. I mean, here's the thing. Now he did Jalen Brown is coming back in this game, but because I think Cade Cunningham coming back in. But it's Cade Cunningham. You've been in the NBA two years, and you haven't even gotten close yet to be in the playoffs. That's, that's tough. Big injury setbacks. Peyton Pritchard for Luke Cornett and Derek White. White, right hand dribble inside the free throw line, floats it up and in. So if Fournier can do it, I can do it too. Five straight points for Derek White. He's up to 19, and the Boston lead is 20 with 6.09 to go. A fake Sasser finds Wiseman diving in, two hand slam. And Golden State Warriors looking at this like, where was this, James Wiseman? Yeah. 10 of 12, 22 points, nine rebounds, four assists. He did not look good at all Monday night in mm -hmm. Boston, but he's been great tonight. Celtics by 18, 5.48 to go. Peyton Pritchard over the shoulder pass for Luke Cornett. Now the handoff, Derek White turns the corner, finds the cutter. It's Tillman. He goes to the left hand and scores. Nice. Time just put his fingertips on that basketball, redirected it up towards the rim. Finally gets his first points in 19 minutes tonight. Celtics by 20. Sasser pump fake. Drives, lobs it in the air. Wiseman comes down with it. He's baseline extended. So he'll throw it all the way back out and they'll try to redo this possession here with Sasser. 
Sasson, stop and start, drives, tiptoes under the basket, moves in the middle of Wiseman and scores over Cornette. 24 for Wiseman. 115 to 97. Celtics built the lead to 26 midway through the third. It's at 18 now. Jalen Brown has been dominant tonight. Pump fake on Cunningham, now steps back. Air ball. That was a force. Oh, Yawoma got away with a travel coming across half court. They'll call it a double dribble. And a late call made by the Boston bench. And eventually, <laughs> they call it. Everybody is sitting here like they had a kitten there. Man. Got it right, Mr. Official. A little late, but you got it right. One fifteen ninety-seven. Four forty-five to go. That's what separates the Celtics from their fifty-sixth win of the year. Pritchard shovels out to Jalen Brown. He's open. Straight away three comes up short, and the rebound for Cade Cunningham. Cunningham 15, 6, and 6 tonight. Cunningham switches to the left hand, two long strides, and Derek White gobbles up the shot and blocks it out of bounds. Yeah, okay, Cunningham maybe did not read. But it, it looked like they were trying to challenge for a minute. Another game with a block for Derek White. Sasser on the under out of bounds, getting near the five second Push. count. He throws it away. They're calling offensive foul anyway as Wiseman pushed Porzingis. And, not that it really matters at this point, but was the ball even inbounded when he did that? Could have been a dead ball foul. Quick 10 second station identification on the Bet MGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Boston, this is Boston's most listened to sports station. Boston's home for sports. The Sports Hub. The Beasley Media Group Station. 7 o'clock games fly by. Celtics by 18. We're down to 419 to play. Derek White over the shoulder pass. Porzingis. Starts his drive on Ivy, spins in the paint, flips it from 10 feet, swish. That was smooth. For a guy his size, this time to spin a Rama on the inside and have a soft touch for the jump shot. 17 for Porzingis, and Derek White, who had his first career triple-double last week, is three rebounds away from another one here with 4.04 to go. Sam Hauser going to come back in with the Celtics leading by 20. Chicago Bulls waiting tomorrow night, and... They've had injury issues obviously all year. The super hot hand in Chicago right now is no longer Kobe White. It's Io DeSumo who's had careers highs twice in three games this week. Cunningham against O'Shea Brissett. Brissett slides his feet. Cunningham falls away. Tough shot. No good. Great defense. O'Shea Brissett. And he taps the rebound to Derek White. He's been ready. Every time his number's been called, O'Shea Brissett has been ready. Out of 3.43 to go. Derek White, for Porzingis, top of the circle, turns to face in a much smaller Cade Cunningham. Porzingis spins, rises into contact, shot is good. No and one, but it doesn't matter at this point as the Celtics just pulling away late. Again, 19 for Porzingis, 119 to 97. Sasson driving the right side, fumbles the basketball and loses it. 18th turnover for Detroit. Here's Derek White, two rebounds away. Away from a triple double, shoveling to Porzingis. Up fakes the three, one step in, floats it back to Derek White. Shot clock at 12. White moves into the left corner. Jalen Brown spent his night, throws the shoulder into Ivy, raises mid block, floats a pass back out and fields it on the hop by Sam Hauser. His three, though, comes up short. And the Pistons have the rebound, Uoma. Into the front court. Derek White back pedals away from him, so Uoma looks for another option. Left hand dribble deep in the paint, pump fake. Crazy shot off the glass, no good, but he gets his own rebound and draws a foul. And he will get free throws when we return, but the Pistons had it going offensively for a while, but now the Celtics is choking the life out of them as we count it down here at Little Caesars. 2.48 to go. Boston 119, Detroit 97 on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. If you've ever spilled grass seed on your lawn and accidentally created the world's largest bird feeder, 
then you know that lawn care isn't easy. If it were, everyone would do it, as well as True Green does it. Our science-driven expertise ensures your custom, nutrient-rich treatment works to deliver a greener, healthier lawn. And it's all backed by the True Green Guarantee. Go to TrueGreen.com today and save 50% off your first application. It's time to trust your experts at True Green. True Green. Live life outside. There are giants among us. And their impact is huge. They are the men and women building and sustaining our Navy's next-generation submarines. They are giants in what they do because they work in a place where they can grow, where they can learn the skills to build careers as powerful as the beasts they forge. If you're ready to go big, get on board. We build giants at buildsubmarines.com. Backstagecountry.com, your online home for all things country music. Lainey Wilson is on a roll. She's delivering great music and teaming up with some of country's hottest acts. Text Lainey to 45911 to see which four Lainey Wilson collabs have us talking at BackstageCountry.com. Text Lainey to 45911 to get a link to the list sent right to your phone from BackstageCountry.com. Felger and Naz, afternoons 2 to 6 on the Sports Hub. Celtics by 22. It's a matter of the math now with 2.48 to go. They are in Detroit. The Celtics had not swept the Detroit Pistons in a season series in 31 years until they did it last year. Now they're about to do it two years in a row. They're going to beat Detroit eight straight times. They're going to go to 11-2 in the 13 games they have played in this building. 11 wins here in about four and a half, five years. And it took about 15, 18, 20 years to get 11 wins in the old building out at the Palace. Woma barely hits the front iron on the first free throw. You know, Palace is a tough place to play. Well, I happened to play a game out there in the Silver Dome. Yeah. And that was tough. It wasn't exactly Hulk Hogan onto the Giant, but yeah, there was some Good games out in the Silver Dome. Celtics have J.D. Davison out there to Mia Cato for the final 245. Where it's a matter again, the math here. Celtics have a 21-point lead. The 238 to go. J.D. Davison, that long hair flying to the breeze. Labs it up for Cato, throws it down with the right hand. They've been working on that. That was, all, that was a slow as that development. And he had to really believe that Kata was going to go up and get it with one hand. And as promised, we got a Buddy Beheim sighting for Detroit. Son of the legendary Syracuse coach. Driving and scooping his pass with Sasser picked off by Kata. J.D. Davis, offensive end. High left hand dribble. Davis turns the corner. Jordan Walsh doesn't want the shot. He'll kick it out to Mihailuk. As the legend, John Mason about to say two minutes remaining here in this game. Mihailuk enters to Kata, who gets fouled in the paint. Pick and roll opportunities again. Kayla is excellent at doing that. For him to go to the next level, you have to, he's gonna have to learn to go hard out on the floor. That's the difference right now between him and watch what Luke's able to do defensively. Kata gets the first free throw now, 17 of 23 from the line. That was that stretch around Christmas time when he was playing quite a bit. Well, Missoula loves it when this group at the end of the game can actually extend the lead. Second free throw is no good. Celtics at this point a 7-1 closing run to the game. The lead by 24. Their largest lead is 26. Springer, the defense on Sasser. Here's the first touch for Buddy Beheim. Steps to his left, missing the three. And the rebound for Namias Kane. Buddy Beheim with a cup of coffee with the Pistons last year, and he's back up at the end of this year. Playing largely in the G League. Davison for Springer. Shows it out to Mihailo. 90 seconds to go. Celtics and Bulls tomorrow night in Chicago. Kata bounce pass to the cutter and it's Jordan Walsh two-hand slam. And even this group is playing well together. Well, and, and they probably worked on that when they were up in Maine. Jordan Walsh is on the board. Uoma met at the rim and fouled with a minute 16 to go. This is the largest lead, by the way, for the Celtics. Pistons. 
Got as close as 15. Celtics led by 26 midway through the third. 15 is as close as Detroit would get. Now it's back to 26 with 76 seconds to go. Yeah, Celtics for a while, you know, close game, and then it became workmanlike on the defensive end. Able to step up and make plays offensively, defensively, got it going with Brown, and they were never hit it. Other guy who stepped up and played really well right now has to be Pritchard. You know, we talked about Percet coming off the bench. Everybody seems to be ready. Free throw is good for you, Woma, and that will give Detroit 100 points tonight. They hit it with a minute 15 to go in the fourth quarter. Celtics hit it with about a minute to go in the third quarter. 124 to 100 is the math right now with a minute seven to go. Jordan Walsh bumped by Buddy Beheim. So that 10 times fast. Walsh moves it to Kata. Spins away from Uwoma. Takes back out to Davis and pretty good look. Straight away three. Swish. And the Celtics have their largest lead as this group on the floor has extended it. Second three of the year for J.D. Davis. And it's 127 to 100 as we're in the final minute. Monty Williams still coaching up this young group. Sasser against Springer. Drives to the left hand, floats a pass to the corner. Uoma challenged by Davis and shot clock at one. Uoma spins, puts it off the window and in, beating the shot clock. And it came there at the end, wanted to get the block. Celtics do have to shoot one more time. And normally they have not been shooting and taking the shot clock violation, but I think Joe Mazzulla is, you know, let's see what he's going to do. I thought he might want this group to run a play. I think he does. At nine of the shot clock. Davison zips it to the corner. Great luck to find Jordan Walsh, but his three is no good. Offensive rebound to me is Kata, and he slams it home with the right hand to put an exclamation point on this one. No donuts for you. There is just no letdown, no matter what lineup is on the floor. Roden will walk across half court, and the clock will roll down to triple zero as the Celtics have won eight straight games. Win number 56 of the year is another blowout. The final score, Boston 129, Detroit 102. The Celtics have swept the Pistons for the second straight year. Back with more on the BetMGM 98.5, the Sports Hub Celtics Radio Network. If your lawn looks more like a desert than an oasis, then you know that lawn care isn't easy. If it were, everyone would do it, as well as True Green does it. In just three easy steps, True Green's online tools help customize a treatment plan for you. And it's all backed by the True Green Guarantee. Go to TrueGreen.com today to start your three easy steps and save 50% off your first application. It's time to trust your experts at True Green. Live life outside. Corner is not going down. Everyone did their job tonight in a 129-102 Boston win as the Celtics go to 56-14 and 14 on the Euro. Shea Brissett joins us from the table. Hey, dude, we're right over your shoulder, by the way. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I talked to him before the hey, game. Hey, O'Shea, so. turn over your shoulder. There you are, dude. We're here. See, normally they put us up in the rafters. We want to take advantage of the intimacy we have in this conversation. Why is it in this group everybody seems to be ready at every time? We want, Even this final minute that played out in front of us, yeah. every group, every sequence in a night on a sequence of the season where guys are missing games, different combinations every night, and there's no letdown. Everybody's playing the same way. Yeah, honestly, I feel like that started from training camp. You know, I feel like. That's something that the coaches instilled in us, and they, they let us know that it's all for the bigger picture. You know, we have guys on the team that could play all game and do what they got to do, but, you know, we're all thinking about the end goal, and that's to ultimately win a championship. So we're focused on that every game, and these are the games uh, in particular that we got to keep that same mindset. You know, we don't want to take any legs. You remind me of somebody I know one time. Do they ever call a play for you? On this team? Yeah, to, to run a play for you. No. Thank you. Right? That, so, and Joe Mazzulla says if you want it, you got to what? Go get a rebound, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I, I know that. That's how I'm going to touch the ball. So, that's how I try to go every single time. How much fun has it been being around this group? There are smiles. I, I got to tell you, you haven't been here as long as we have. I've seen Jalen Brown smile more in the last week than I've seen him in the first six years. And there is... That sense that there's something special about this season we've known for a while, but in the room it really feels like that exists. Yeah, for sure, and I think that's it right there. You know, uh, like I said before, we're all uh, focused on the bigger picture, and we all love playing with each other. You know, I think that's the, the biggest thing. We got stars on the team, and they're all able to put their pride aside, and know that once we get on the court, you know, it's about winning. And uh, you know, that starts in the locker room. Obviously, we all know that, and I think that we've done a great job of um, being brothers first before anything else. Well, let me ask you this question: three hundred million dollars doesn't make you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I, it made me smile. I know that for sure. <laughs> All right, my friend. We'll see you on the plane. For sure. For sure. Appreciate oh, you. Eight percent. Joining us here is.